Oi, oi, Flat Earth British, Matt Indica speaking. Welcome to Flat Today on the great Flat Earth British think tank. Flat thumbs and much love and appreciation to everybody. Let's have a look if I'm here, if comms are in order. Fucking fantastic. So here I am, ready or not. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. So do buckle in before we get started. New people to Flat Earth British Think Tank. I can only apologise for the state of your Brian later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think this is a biggie. This is um, basically a combination of all the work of uh, the great Flat Earth British Think Tank. Myself, Lee, who is also Flat Earth British, and where we are with our thoughts um up to this moment in time and it is pretty fantastical it really really is we're gonna i'm because i'm me okay i'm gonna make some really bold statements in fact i'm gonna say some things that have probably never been thought before or said before in reality and you know what happens guys when that happens well it breaks a magic spell and then after all of that is over with things feel a little bit different again basically it all shifts again now i can't believe that's been a week i can't believe that it's been a week since last flatter day show you know my 12 hour epic <laughs> but it has it's like time is definitely accelerating i knew it would gain pace um later on um and i mentioned this i've mentioned it numerous times that this is definitely a factor now time is a construct but i mean the way that we perceive time has changed since this weirdness has all started hasn't it hasn't it so yeah a week i've had a really busy week i've been working um as i said thinking about all of this what we're basically going to talk about now which is very very mind-blowing um and everything else we're going to talk about okay guys there's a lot in this post to show i'm going to show you with that now what i need to do is get my shit together and try and compose myself <laughs> welcome all 200 nods of you waiting thanks so much happy flatter day to you all peace and love to you all hope you all had a good week and um let's celebrate tonight let's have some dick richards there good to see you some sort of a first day of spring party sort of atmosphere going on like basically everything's springing back to life and feeling fantastic about it hmm? let's try that it would be a beautiful day in britain if they hadn't chemtrailed the scams chem chemtrail the skies to oblivion so i have fairies good to see you welcome to flat of british think tank rizzy truth brian tucker who's been in chat a while activate the pyramids then you should say that I might talk about aspects of that coming up so um Dragon Sage, good to see you. Blue Sky, thank you for uh, all your comments. Amy and Jenny, who is loving the midst, and Shane and Rocky and David and Dean Boink and um, Billy, good to see my brother. And uh, Sketch, who is announcing Splatted. So, yeah, I'm going to be a bit controversial as well because basically I can. Lee Flat Earth British, who's basically commenting with um, a dot, an S. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dot 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 is S. Anyway, we communicate by Morse code. There's something else going on with that. The Morse code, don't you know? But anyway, not to um, deviate. What we're going to talk about tonight is going to be pretty mind blowing, as I said. Um, but it's pretty difficult to explain using the English language or the words that I'm going to use because some of the aspects of what I'm going to talk about. Um, there's no words to describe them so i'm going to do my best okay so learning all what we've learned up to this time concerning the phoenicians the water the information being in the water and everything in this construct being water and the circuit board cities and the circuit board grid and the fact that the cities are circuit boards and uh Com computating um something reality so at this stage of the game i, I think it's safe to presume that presume that we are in a, some sort of game <laughs> okay guys and not only a game the game and you are participants in the game the greatest game in town i would say concerning the information really so the game um to complete it 
and get to the next level. We have to go through this process, I'm afraid. I don't know how else to do it, but it is quite mind blowing. Okay, we're going to think about the Tower of Babel. We're going to think about, I'm going to propose, um, it's been asked for a long while, but I've basically put all of this into the latest book, okay, which is coming up hopefully in May, or should be in May, concerning a date for the last reset, the last reset. I'm going to propose a date and I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, the clues have been left through time. I don't know whether it's my ancestors or our ancestors helping us along as all history awakes simultaneously, or that I've left the clues myself because I, it's just mind blowing. And when I seen the, the clue that connected it, it blew me away. I thought, now it's starting to make sense why that was there in the first place. But, you know, it took time to get to that point. You know, it's just most unbelievable thing so anyway not to blow myself away because i'm blowing myself away you guys we're going to talk about a lot of things we're going to talk about a controversial subject right what martin's going to do he's going to do a psychological analyzation of adolf hitler the actor the actor okay the possible useful idiot okay we're gonna have a little look at him and we'll have a little think about him later on as you can see in the title of this okay just add water all will become apparent in a very near very near time um and the final so soul lucian okay now this phrase was used in world war ii wasn't it the fine the, the final solution to the jewish question we all know maybe a lot of us would deny that a, a lot of people got killed in world war ii my feelings are if you're joseph stalin and you're a homicidal maniac and you've got a giant army million strong you you can run these propaganda newsreels like there's no tomorrow you could get rid of a fuck load of people if you're a megalomaniac world leader why the fuck wouldn't you they got rid of a lot of people guys millions and millions of people they could have used jews as a psyop to say that they all you know all these missing people um are them but the fact still remains we're going to look at some of the evidence some mind-blowing stuff but all of it will be laced with a nice sticky bun of happiness and humor all the way through okay we're not gonna you know we don't dwell too much on um, any really morbid or anything really so we're gonna have a think about it all <sighs> okay so some a little shout to you all i am created the last war uh, the last war series hang on right so now what's happening now now i know they're un uh, unlocking us for a little while so but i had a friend call me today and said he's going off to have um basically his vaccination i said well don't fucking come here again you can stay away for fucking ever <laughs> but for a long while because you know you just got injected with all these fucking diseases or whatever they have given you so some of that's gone in the book i can't believe that's going through um i would say at this stage of the game okay if something isn't done we're going to be in a lot of shit Okay, now I was really, really awe inspiring to see these protests today. I, I was invited to go to London um, only two days ago for this massive match, and it turned out to be hundreds of thousands of people. It was really awe, awe inspiring to see all of these people just saying, no fucking more freedom, you know? Um, and not too much. A few people fucked up and scuffed, scuffed about, but not, not too, too much from what I see. Maybe it kicked off later. But. I see us now at this stage of the game. I think we're in about, if you think of in um, analogy of World War II, I think now we're in 1939, what they regard as the phony war. But I think that we're heading towards 1942 and 1943, which is the Blitz, which is total war, which is when fuckloads die. Now, they're not going to let go of the leash. Everyone fucked it when they agreed to this vaccine. OK, and it's just going to get fucking stupider and stupider. OK, they're getting stupider with the space stuff. They're getting stupider with the virus. Gone to the point of just retardivity. I can't even look at it. You know, the royal family, what are they fucking playing at as well with this fucking thing with all from Winfrey and, the, and them spilling the beans on them? And then everyone in Britain has just automatically got to pay taxes knowing what they are and what they're capable of. You know, that that's like, you know, a crime. It's just fuck why have we got to do that so all of that's coming to a head so there's a bigger plot with that guys there's definitely some bigger going on it's coming to a point isn't it you can all feel it okay so 
I'm going to get underway um, very shortly. I just need to, like I said, compose myself. I'm trying not to get blocked up here, but I'm very good at that. Jason, um, I belong here in this present system, but the fact is, guys, yeah, if you think about it, concerning all is mind and all is mind, okay, in this place, you've only ever been here now. In the moment you've only ever had the moment there's a moment when you did arrive in this place you are birthed or born into water and then baptized into the you know to the water system that you are found yourself in okay you are in a diluted state of fluid which is not quite sea and not quite water but not far off and i know we don't feel like fishes okay because we've got no like you know frame of reference you know to compare it to but the fact still remains we are in a medium that is very like liquid it carries waves sound waves and everything else that a fluid medium might carry hi max sol solwick there's qs and she's in chat mark solbrick excuse me and rocky i said that one already and jesus rainbow wave who's over in ireland i think cynthia bancroft um sister of anne i believe maybe not though mike james just say no. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? This is where everyone's just consenting. They don't realize that they don't have to do it. You don't have to tell them fucking nothing. Because we're not actually doing any crimes. It's them that's doing the crimes. Uh, remote flying choppers. Oh, don't fucking talk about mass to me. It's, it's actually the, the state of the internet at the moment is very, very frustrating. I have to say something about it all very shortly. No, I mean it. So. Stu Jupiter is my brother, Flat Earth Lee, who has helped me greatly. We have many, many discussions this week. Some of them just like, sort of leave my brain dribbling. Not as cruel, actually. So, yeah, my poor Brian. My poor Brian this week. I, I've got pages and pages of stuff to share with you. So, outside of talking about um, stuff that they don't want me to talk about, so I fucking will. So, I'll be Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I don't care. Um, we're going to talk about ghosts. We're going to have a spooky session. Anyone up for a spooky session on a flatter day night? Yeah. I've had, I've had um, a fucked up week. I don't know what's going on, but I had two fucking, I had two nightmares. I haven't had nightmares in ages, but I had two nightmares this week. And one of them was concerning ghosts. One of them was concerning ghosts. I actually woke up from my dream shouting, fuck off ghost, where I was fighting and punching out the ghosts. And I'll explain all about it when we get to the ghost section. Highly fucking trippy. It might be a message in it somewhere. So um, going on what I'm about to show you, what I'm thinking about, what we're going to be thinking about, I'm thinking that, like, you know, we are, like, actual part, part of Bible prophecy that to fulfill here. And I'm getting to know now what exactly they are looking for with the tests. All of it is just falling into place. There's still bits missing. It's still a massive head fuck. But when you get it, um, it really does take some processing. But I know for a fact, I know for a fact, Lee does share now, right? The elites definitely 100% know what we're going to share with you now, guys. There's no doubt about it. They know. They know the terrifying truth of it all, okay? With their watery wickedness. Okay. So good to see you, Theo. Welcome all. We got 672 of you watching already, have we? A super fantastic, great. So that firms to you all. Don't take life too seriously. There's a lot of people tied up with like superficial bullshit, yeah? People need to rise above fucking ego. We're well, in my Brian, see, I'm thinking. Wow, the truther movement, so fucking wicked. Maybe all of the big truthers who are so fantastic could all join together, do one super fantastic vlog The millions and millions receive with the truth. But apparently they're not up to that. They're more like, you know, into their own fucking shit, yeah? It really pisses me off. What a waste of a truther movement, yeah? There is a fucking resistance going on, but it's like only in fucking small, tiny fragments of the, uh, of the truther movement. Can't see anyone else doing fuck all. Anyway, too busy arguing about something. You know, there's a, there's a massive section of flat earth movement that's actually um, debating one another and having terrible arguments over the, over the dialectic system that I fucking basically wrote a book about. The inertia plane, you know, 12 kilometers below your feet. It's crazy. I wrote a book about it a year ago, proving it all. It's completely ignored. It's like none of that ever fucking existed. We'll just carry on and with this fucking debate. 
Hoots McBrien there. You can get it on Google, um, on Amazon, you know. Fight with book. Find you there with John Carpenter and Eric Clapton and all the rest. Eric Clapton. Eric, um, Eric. Anyway, Flat Earth is fucking, really needs to pull its finger out and get some serious truthing going, honestly. And I'm going to organize some meets and stuff. Now, my last post actually got a copyright a community strike. They say for nudity. How very fucking dare they? Nudity, um, sexual references. Who me? Sexual references. How very fucking dare you? I never. And um, apparently harassment to some section of society. That is possible. <laughs> and um, basically, they basically locked a load of adverts in. And you had to basically fucking log in and tell him your ID and all of that. I had to be over 18 just to even watch the video. 20,000 did struggle through with that, so I'm very appreciative. But I thought the video was like, <laughs> it was class. It was such fun, but they just had to do that on nothing, you know. See, the thing is, YouTube being fucking recommending like weird videos now i don't look at them okay you may think that i do but i don't right so what you get the scenario is some fucking bint in a kitchen who's bored all fucking day mind wanking or something and she goes let's do a little deboxing or an unboxing of my lingerie collection and i can try them on for you in my kitchen now them two youtubes right million fucking two hits that's not new to t mind is it trying on lingerie in your fucking kitchen it's a bored bint stuck home huh yeah, art, art, which is what I was fucking showing in an artistic context. Yeah, no fucking, no, no fucking way. Yeah, Philistines, a lot of them. None of them got any class like us guys. Yeah, they should be ashamed of themselves. Carry, carry your head in shame. Shame, anyway. All of you, all of them. Anyway, <laughs> flat with British people, we just rise above. <laughs> I am right, I know, and I know it's YouTube are fucking definitely sharing them. I don't fucking, I say no, not interested, right? But I ain't fucking looking, and I ain't right, you know, why are they recommending them? Someone else told me the same, my son is on a completely separate account, he's like, eh, yeah, fucking woman, fucking trying to says he's on in a fucking kitchen video. It's like, fucking YouTube. It's like, what? Fucking ain't on, people. That's gone, it's gone to shit. What a waste of a fucking brilliant opportunity, is what I'm saying. Anyway, peace and love to you all. Let's focus on bullshit today. But yeah, yeah, so um, I have to watch that because I've only got like one channel left, which is this one, and a backup for this uh, till midsummer. Denise, we, we always rise above because this is basically, we've just shown them, right, basically through the whole of the pandemic, yeah, when everyone's like, oh, woe is me. We've been like having a fucking riot. We've been having a brilliant time every Saturday, laughing our little heads off, haven't we? Valium, no, don't do that, Jason. Do you know benzodiazepines make you fucking mental, yeah? Uh, make you uh, impotent. Make you have a really, really bad time if you ever try to come away from them. They're worse than any of the drugs, benzodiazepines. Make you proper, proper nuts, yeah? But you talk utter fucking shit. Most people talk utter shit when they're on Valium. Let me just say. Uh, Jenny, show business, but I wouldn't if I was you. Shills versus Shills, I am created, Rocky, and Woke Realist, and Misha's here in the house, and who's puffing away merrily, and Worldwide Ghosts, oh, there's Apt, who's agreeing with me. Martin been watching Lassie's trying on clothing. No, I fucking haven't. Shills, I haven't. I'm just, I wouldn't have met. Now, that's not fair. I wouldn't have mentioned it if I'd have been watching them, yeah? I just skip past them. I say I'm not interested. <laughs> Might do a bit of research. <laughs> no, no, these are these are sad people in their kitchens, guys. Let's just put it into, the, into a perspective, okay? Anyway, thank you, Patrick. All right, then. we rise above that. Even me, even me. So Esther Malone is bonjour in us. Bonjour, Esther. Good to see you. So let's get started, shall we, guys? Now, like I said, there's a lot in this post, and we're almost 20 minutes in, so I've got a lot to get through. So first of all, we're going to think about reset. Okay, guys, we're going to think about the reset. You may regard as Noah's flood. Okay, now remember on Flat Earth British that we propose that they've added at least 1,200 years to the calendar. And since uh, Gregorian possible switch on, 
possible Mad Max era where everything was closed, as in no calendar on. Um, and then they pick up um, late 1400s, which we can say sort of or Renaissance period is there. And the civilization is taken over, as we all know. Now, what we're going to get to now is how all of this possibly happened and maybe a few shocking moments for you. So buckle in. OK, it's only our opinion. OK, but it is very, very good sleuthing and detect detective work. And Lee and myself, guys, not as if we're any um, world authorities on the Phoenicians or Tataria or any of these subjects now, is it? No. <laughs> anyway, let's get to business. Right. Blame Lee. Okay. Blame Lee. Blame, Lee. blame yourselves for any of this that's happening, guys, because I think it's all meant to be. I think we're fulfilling prophecy. I really do. And I think I understand why. I think I understand why. I think I know. Let me explain. It's going to be difficult for myself, but I'm going to make the effort. Okay. Why? I don't even know. I've been not dreading it. just been trying to think how to put in the words. Okay. Thanks for Lee. He's good with uh, putting points across but myself I've just been flabbergasted as I'm sure you all will be okay let's get into business okay I'm gonna start here guys now there was definitely a clue laid down with this and I seen it early on especially when COVID came along is the apparent Roman poem of Ovid's metamorphosis and what it is as we know already is reset is a civilization or a peoples apparently coming up from the water after the classical world has fallen ovid is a highly tainted story guys full of murder full of intrigue and it's just really fact but the fact still remains that it is a story of one era one age let's we'll just stop here for a second turning into another age now, guys, now, let's start here, and I'll get to the point shortly. Is it possible, which I think it is, thinking in simulation theory, and I'll go a little bit further later on, thinking in the lines of, have you ever seen the film Vanilla Sky? Pod life. Well, we'll think about that a little bit later. And the question is now is, or well, more of a question, more of a statement is, we're dead. We're dead. We were reanimated in a water solution. Dead, but reactive to water. We're ghosts in the shell. Sand and sea. Knowledge is knowing thyself, selling to a distance. You're being mind, guys. Minded. Now, when I say dead, I'm saying that in the last reset, um, which I'm going to talk about date, Everybody was killed. Everybody was killed. These people, the civilization, whoever went before the flood of Noah were wiped out. There were survivors. They say Noah's Ark. I'm saying more. I'm saying people had foreknowledge and people bunkered and people went high places and people weathered this flood, but people did survive. Now, the information is captured in the water. What we're saying here, guys, is the, the information. I don't think after the last reset that there was any remains left much, guys. I think we were totally obliterated in every form. I think it's mush, but information, because information is never lost. Now, after the last reset, the flood, the water, went and the information is in the water now if you lick a seed the it, information isn't locked in the seed it's locked in the saliva of you and you lick that seed and it will the seed, the seed the plant will have tributations of you in its growth part of you will be in it now the information is not locked in the dna strand. it's locked in what they would have called at one stage the akashic record but it's locked in the water as are the Phoenicians so they were resurrected they came in to this realm 
they were resurrected the information necessary, Adam and Eve, possibly out of the mud, mud men, they do tell us, that's where the information may have been, in the silt and all the debris of Armageddon, and they reanimated. But they're not the originals. The originals were lost. But guys, some weren't. Some weren't, guys. Now that would mean, now that would mean that most people, possibly Phoenician, are in this realm, are um, replicants or replacements, but they are not the originals. The originals lived alongside cryptids and giants in the classical world. All of them went as well. Where? Or washed away, completely gone. Entropy, just gone, guys. Just, just gone. So they picked up the information and we were resurrected into this water medium which was needed. Now, the water medium is tainted, as you know, with uh, some sort of bacteria, parasite, uh, which infects the psyche. Now, remember all this mind. Think in terms of circuit board cities as well, guys, as well. Now, let me just move on a second. Now, the, the clues have been there right away along, guys. The Phoenicians hide in, in the clouds. The information's definitely in the water. Water has memory. Now, think of water has a membrane, a membrane over the top of it, a memory brain. It's that part. It's the T bar, isn't it? It's, it's, the, it's the middle bit of the H, isn't it? it? It's that part on top of the water, the membrane, the skin. But it's a brain. And it's the interaction from the water to this water medium where the informational transference to the plants, to the trees, to the earth, to the nature actually happens. So you see the fall of this. Ovid will tell you about it in his poem of the fall of an entire culture, civilization, a new race, a new people coming in. So I was wondering about the originals. I'm thinking, well, that would mean there's originals here, originals of this realm. And is that what the tests are for? And I did mention they were looking for someone. I thought it might be through blood type. Now, after the last Armageddon, the survivors, populations grew, others brought in from elsewhere, I guess, to boost up the population. The next few hundred years, a couple of hundred years, are just war. Are just out and out carnage, people eating one another. It's Mad Max era. It's the worst. But something happened between then, that point that I'm going to talk about, and the Renaissance period started late 1400s they say i 400s and the enlightenment what is that telling you about guys it's telling you that we litter tar in a jar star in a jar there was an enlightenment of consciousness after this point and we're in the last throes we are post-apocalyptic survivors in the last throw heading down a blind alley into another reset but the fact remains now is we know why we know why and we know what's going on go a little bit further with this there's a synesthet here you know the dog head or the horse head apparently a pop populating the uh you know the, the greco-romano world but we've decoded all of this you know the eagle with the wings open is active charge you see the fall of civilization and this new this new replacement humans not the originals the phoenicians out of the water it's allegory you see and they're telling you they come out of the water into this if you want to call it a simulation it's a bit difficult to describe the hologram the, it's interchangeable it splits off at a split second you talk about something and everything seems to change and like literally an hour later nothing even looks the same so that's where we're at. It's not a very definitive word, death, is it? You know, especially when we've been brainwashed with the Phoenician paradigm for so long about what it is. Again, it's under the ground, smelling and everything. It seems really, really weird, all of it. It's a con. You've got to just, like, let go of all of those preconceived notions. And once you do, once you do, it's not possible to fear anything. Not that I did personally, but people fear all sorts of weird shit. Getting ill, fucking dying. All sorts, when we have no understanding of even our realm. What is the biggest question in reality, guys? What is consciousness? What is our purpose? What are we doing here? Where are we? When are we? These are the questions that nobody on earth until this point had any fucking answers for, guys. Yeah? 
we're moving on. So that's point number one. Point number two is the Tower of Babel. Okay. Now it would seem by the narrative in the Bible, okay, and the Babel of the Bible is that they built a tower. Now we all know the narrative behind this, and we've tried to think, you know, what the true meaning, you know, this reverse engineering of knowledge could possibly mean concerning the tower. We realize that this thing is massive, but this is only somebody's mental interpretation of the knowledge, guys. Could it could the tower actually be something else? Now Sky fucking beeping away. Babel. Now, baby, they're born into babies, baby Babel. The little Phoenician babies born into a watery uh, cell, um, the embryonic fluid, uh, a liquid. And then they come through the birth canal, the canal. And then they are in another more diluted liquid solution medium to live in uh, gasping and arriving and it's not long if you are involved in any religion before they get you in put some other water on you and welcome you and resurrect you baptize you to the new Phoenician state now dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so did they build this thinking uh, well, they probably did actually. So, like, please, God, don't, uh, Almighty God, drown us all again. Because they have foreknowledge that this is, you know. If you're going to have a reset, try not to leave the remnant of the previous civilization hanging around because people will notice next time and they will think for themselves, work out what the fuck has happened, a bit like what we have done. So, what could it be? Now, thinking about this place being a liquid, thinking about, you know, the simulation, thinking about everything that I just explained to you about, you know, the information being in the water, we seem to be reanimated. We were all killed. Trillions and trillions of us all killed. We are not the, the people here are not the originals. I'm not saying that we're not. I'm saying some of us very, very fucking possibly are at this stage. I'm saying this. So... Could it be that God programmed the water to kill us? Well, guys, we are dehydrating and we're old and everything in it, you know, when we're dehydrated, we're all wrinkled and old. And, you know, let's, let's be honest, everyone who drinks water dies. <laughs> no, I'm just saying this entire paradigm, I just noticed just now at a drink, at a cup, everything's related to liquids, I'm fluid inside. Um, your brain, your Brian with its men, brain is literally floating in, in, a, in a liquid guys you know everything in this place is fluid so let's think of what this thing really is and its true purpose and from the bible allegory of what this thing is okay let's have a little think so here it is in a lead out that's pretty sweet this book i will link it up to you if you haven't seen her already this is a bible interpretation all of this is set in an era you know got classical buildings etc but it is thought because of its shape is this a speaker is this a, a vibrational tool but we all have, have the same mind set that this is something to uh, either get to the dome or avert god's water killing us all again and resetting because these lot know all about it and it seems to be the whole population of the plane you know, mucking in together to build this great, great, very, very technological looking tower, tower. And there's others as well, other towers. Everything's very futuristic looking in the, in the past, isn't it? Check this out. It's supposed to be the, uh, <laughs> supposed to be the bronze age. This is all set in. So this is crazy. Or Pharaoh's antiquity at least. So, Bringing all this forward myself, I'll explain why shortly. And then the confusion of the languages, which is exactly what's happening now. Okay, everybody is, you know, like it says in the Bible, brother will turn against brother, sister. Hi, jazz soldier. Hi, man. Yeah. Um, 
brother will turn against brother, sister against sister, which is happening with all of the masking and everything else. It's all part of it, isn't it? Because they had to reset. They had no choice. So what is it? What is it? What is it doing? And why are all the population of the world needing to get to build a tower? Okay. Well, what we think it is, is this. There's your tower. All of the people of the world getting together to build a tower. To build a program, a program in the water to save everybody from disaster. Now, that's happening. That's fucking happening, guys. There's a hive mind right here now. You know, in my mind, guys, I got nothing to compare it to, but I think it's the greatest think tank there ever was. Yeah, these Caltex and these other think tanks, guys, that ain't science. Yeah, what that is, is funding, funding, and it stops there. There's nothing progressive. They ain't got no juice. None of them have got any juice. When's the last time you watched a National Geo and got your Brian splattered? Like, try that's one of the 10 things that's never been said in this reality. Yeah, I got my braid splattered by a national gear. So I think, and we think, the Tower of Babel is actually a PC. And we think that they were trying to write a program, okay, because what to program the water, because God's programmed this water to, you know, activate this for start off. So. There's all sorts, they're all related. You can see some of them like this, these three towers in a row. I think in the Bible is a template, is a describing. I really, really, really do think it's describing what's happening now, guys, with the pandemic. The Tower of Babel, guys. The Tablet of Moses, guys. Yeah? Nothing new under the sun. They're fucking telling us, guys. They've been telling us all along. It's all in the contemporary music. It's in the literature. Alice in fucking Wonderland. The Matrix. They've been telling us all along, guys. With the architecture. They've been telling us all along. Hmm. It's all available. So what do you think, guys? Let me know in chat. I want to know. I want some, some feedback -age. Of this 388 of you watching wicked wicked quantum computing slim picking say well in my brian i'm thinking that could be a thing you know guys because you know cesium atom and the way atoms work flip up flip down or north and south pole polarity to my brian they could do that uh would it mean you know countless in you know computations in another realm as in the quantum realm well not, not so much subatomic but i think that they could increase their um you know, their processing abilities like massively. Yeah. IA in my mind is is here right now and is conscious and is is part of this. AI is definitely a player in this thing. So I'll go a little bit further. I'm gonna go a little bit further. I'm gonna be a bit bold as I said, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because basically I've added it in my in my new book coming out in May. It's a date. So we're thinking very carefully and looking at the evidence and wondering about this this year, the map of Monday. Massive part of my life, went to see it when I was first to Flat Earth for 2015, went for first Flat Earth meet there. And it's the oldest, they say, map existing. 1290, 1290. So what do we think to ourselves, right? So 1290's not there. I think, what I think, guys, is this. I think this is the old world. The world of um, basically cryptoids and Senecephalia and all of these, you know, these hybrid monsters that you see. Rome is very much active and the, you know, the labyrinth of Colossus. And all of these places, like the Tower of Babel, Hereford is on there itself, and included on skin. And you'd see there, there's uh, some of the um, cryptids, the Bellimis, apparently witnessed by Alexander the Great, the scabapods, yeah, the giant kinetic energy blast from their foot, the troglodytes, a race of people who lived underground, and the Senesaphia, who is the dogheads, which are all over. They said they were barbarians. This sounds a little bit like um, propaganda. But anyway, 
I have seen evidence later than the Renaissance periods going into 1600s and stuff, but the survivors that are left, replenished with others, trying to repopulate a fucking smashed world, uh, digging the mud out, getting these red brick buildings, everything back in order. So what I'm proposing is this. What I'm proposing is this. This is a clue left for me subconsciously. Tower of Babel's up and running on this. Because I think it was the old world, and I think it was the last evidence of the old world, and I think they're telling us. There's no America on this. This was taken around the world, or Britain, excuse me, in a box, and it was presented to the public as the map of the world. But it's not, because the America's out on there. Okay, they, so they were lying, like they are now, with the world that they present to us now. They're lying. There's more. There's more land. So I'm thinking that because of what we've looked at in the past concerning the Crusades, concerning they definitely picked something up in Jerusalem and they took it back to Switzerland. And you can't really deny the founding of Switzerland at this date either. But what I think that they brought back from Jerusalem, I know a few of you have just instantly thought, is he on about the Ark of the Covenant? No, I'm not sure what I'm on about really, guys, but I know they brought something, set up this state and it's left out and it's neutral in all world wars it's got the world's money there and uh, what else has it got there guys yeah sir no coinky fucking zinc there and these strange you know like that devil's bridge opening ceremony and stuff so yeah, there's noah's ark so i'm thinking this going on what we've learned I'm thinking this was the last vestige of our uh, old world. I'm thinking that they tell us because it's the oldest map, so and it's very, very significant. I'm thinking that the reset, the last reset, Noah's flood, okay, is on this. Is on this. So it has to be later. It has to be later. It has to be later. This map has to be a little later has to be um i think in the crusades ended and uh, that basically the first of april they say um i 300 i 300 1300 because you can't have a ransack world and then set up a renaissance in like you know basically a heartbeat can you you know they do say you know you can't it, rome wasn't built in a day fuck no shit because it wasn't built in a day they're still building it because you're in it yeah the phoenicians so 300 and then just gone the world is gone it's mad max they're survivors um they done a gregorian calendar change right on that point as well so we went into a new era a new calendar and a new epoch and I'm thinking this is the old world. Because like I've said a hundred times, guys, these people of the past, they don't resemble us. They're nothing like us. I've said it a hundred times, guys. But at the same token, I'm feeling a connection to some sort of ancestry. And I've said it all along, like they're crying out. So it's something else as well, like deja vu that I've been experiencing. I know a few of you have the synchronicities. And the fact that I keep thinking I've done all this before and I'm leaving myself weird clues all the time. So I'll we'll go over that for the time being. And then in the Renaissance rolls out, they bring in the globe, the Jesuits do their business. A little bit later on, Freemasonry, Illuminati sets up, uh, Ross Charles later on, etc., etc. We know how this game's played and how the shit goes down. But it has to have a starting point. Now, forget, you know, a thousand years AD with the fucking Norman Conquest and Harold was a sort, you know, an arrow in his eye, etc. Because, guys, this is bullshit. You go and try and find that battlefield, it ain't there. Mel, who is in chat right now, who is um, Jazz Soldier 1, I went to visit the Battle of Bosworth Hill or Bosworth Fields in the north of England only last year to try and find the remnants of this incredibly, incredibly famous medieval battle. And... Oh, they, sorry, they said, we don't exactly know where it was taking place. Exactly the same story for um, Hastings. They just haven't got a fucking clue, basically. So anyway, that's what I'm saying for the moment. Okay, but it might be wrong. But it makes perfect sense. And we need some sort of time period for fixing up of these buildings, the red brickers, the civilization, and tatted up. 
so yeah that makes perfect sense it would have taken in my in my mind 100 years at least uh 200 to nail it back after everything's flooded and the water's receded and mud and take it all back out again with the people that were left because it was fucked as we've seen guys the evidence is worldwide everyone's worshiping wild crazy idols and eating human flesh guys it's a part of it and they tell you all about that in the bible don't they cain and abel or do you mean can abel yeah no shit sherlock anyway we're moving on so i'm going to come back for a moment and i wish you all happy flat day yay let me have a look at my friends how in jerry d is there Arwen, good to see you pam ross it's good to see you um humans um, don't make the pyramids they were built by people before adam and eve well so we'll take that's for sure um i'm thinking more in the line of them being beaver dam technology bunkers um as in noah's ark as in all pyramids as in if you google pyramids underwater there's like twenty thousand hits or something more than that for pyramids underwater that's still under there is it possible that after the flood these people got trapped and are still in these fucking pyramids and, and even coming up we've had invasion of the body snatchers you must have noticed by now guys so how weird everybody is fucking we are not like them they look like us but they are not us are you getting that buzz yet because i fucking am it's been strange for a long time guys and it's just not me okay other people are noticing it as well and the time thing as well just too fucking weird i am jolly good to see you adam putt uh, the white race are uh, the descendants of um yeah i we, we know that because that's the official narrative that's been given to us isn't it for us to follow we're not doing official narratives that's the whole point you have to with the experiment that is flat earth british think tank what you have to do is get rid of all preconceived notions about reality what you thought you knew that includes death and being born and the whole thing and then think of it of a new it's a new kind of weird science if you like it's a watery high technological computing technology water cools if you like okay think of the data stream where you get on a computer think of the cloud where's all the information Mm. you see it it's in the cloud colorblind here good to see you it's all there for us to discover guys it's just a point to get in there and reality has a habit of showing us for some reason especially in the flat earth british think tank oregon flat earth oregon here good to see you london ground oh yo london ground what's happening mate I've seen you in a while i was gonna come up to london i did get invited but um basically just couldn't do it it's fucking just not happening uh david then uh, flat earth space agency <laughs> google please make a flat earth map option uh, well have a look at a couple of flat earth maps later pics of the day are fucking fabulous so next we're gonna oh i'm going to right don't get offended okay if i if it sounds like that i'm blowing smoke up hitler's ass because i'm not okay i'm looking at this a balanced ball not ball unst, but balanced um psychological analyzation of this from what they give us again without any preconceived notions or cia programming programming about him being a really weird sex pest um you don't get that buzz when he's with eva braun do you you know because he's a hot woman um and that he's like a, a drug adult drug addict because of dr morale keeps smacking him up and giving him cocaine eye drops and everything else to get him off his fucking head so he loses the war apparently a cia plan official narratives guys everything you've ever read and seen and been told about adolf hitler is being a narrative given to you so we look at it in a completely different aspect we're going to think of him as the it's the quiet actor an actor who loves nature and from my psychological analyzation a person who looks at these things is no psychopath i'm saying that this is the eyes of a empath how could he he's a murderer he murdered billions of people no 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 if you google it the architect of the apparent holocaust was actually heinrich himmler if you look into it i don't think i actually knew anything about it i think he was an actor a bit like you know most of these people in mainstream today actors like um frank cox neil degrasse twatson 
Nudelgratz Twatzen are um, basically actors. So that's what we're finding with them. True Martin says, uh, Will White Ghost. We're going to talk about ghosts. Yeah, that's dream. I mean, what a week I've had. Really weird. Bankers rhymes with wankers. Isn't that a really weird thing? I think there might be a clue in that, you know. Thinking about it. Charlie Chaplin is Adolf Hitler. Well, yeah, they did predictably program us with the silly little moustache and everything. But I've been looking at the art of Adolf Hitler. I think the guy had real feeling. Now, bear in mind that in the First World War, he's a bit of a hero, yeah? So he's not very good at shooting, but I tell you what, he is fit as fuck. Because the guy's like vegan and he loves animals and he's into keep fit. Okay, that's why he had all of his, like, you know, his brainwashed subjects uh, doing his keep fit program. I'm suggesting he was an actor, a useful idiot, and it was all out of his hands in the first place. And he was re replaced later. The guy you see in 1945 shaking hands with them poor little boys with fans of post, fans of host in Berlin, ready to die at the Russian hordes. That, with Parkinson's disease, uh, flitting out like that, that was rude, yeah? That wasn't that of Hitler start off anyway gary felton gary did feel a bit of a play part player and it's been weird feeling weird in the game isn't it guys it's an awful strange feeling all the time about it um yeah it could be walt disney but i don't think so mate if i'm honest with you in fact the more of these like double things that people are talking about the more it's putting me off it's getting really fucking stupid now um pretty flat earth over here two squirrels says jj how's it going brother gone camping yet with the boys hope so i'm going camping this year I definitely can do some fucking thing. Uh, no Gillett. What's happening? Um, yeah, that's right. We're all dead. It's epic news. That's the best thing about battles and stuff, or you know, um, any any troubles or anything. Is don't even think about like getting killed because basically you're dead already. So it's fucking epic. Um, Bajit Iranian. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Mel, you're always a bit ahead of your time, especially with stuff. Um, oh fuck that, Martin Dunn. I know, I broke the system. We broke the system. We're going to break it a lot more as well. Yeah, by the time this finishes, anyway, we can do some more historical damaging. So let me have a drink, because... I'm thirsty as fuck. Vertic, is that you, my brother? Did you go to that match today? I was supposed to have gone to. I was supposed to have spoke as well, apparently, but I thought, oh, fucking hell. Uh, can't afford it. Bavaria, raising money for Bavaria was fucking hopeless. I knew that anyway, but it's whatever creator wants. I'll just go with it and not worry about anything. Flat thumbs, Lisa. Susie as well. Zal Moxie's my brother. And yeah, I'm not going to be wanting to start people off going on about fucking Jews and all of that around me because it's pissed me off, yeah? I don't give a fuck who anybody is as long as they're just getting on with their fucking lives, yeah? It's them we got to worry about, all them fucking pedo leaders and everything. Never mind the fucking people. I hate it hate when it's been given to us by them yeah even the words uh i thought you said cardassians then yeah they're fucking vile aren't they fucking cardassian okay now uh canada me good to see you kin snoo king snoogle said no uh jean this sounds like londis where i used to shop and uh, joyce here as well adam fry uh biden yeah he fell down the stairs didn't he it was a brilliant little clip that wasn't it Another president done that, who was it? You have a Bush, older Bush, wasn't it? What's your business, gringo? Yeah, do I ask you, where do you live? Where are you smoking? What are you drinking? Yeah, can I meet your wife? Yeah, send me some photos over. Fucking okay, no. hell. I noticed that the other day, somebody was asking me all like questions, personal questions. I was like, fucking hell, I don't ask you, fuck all. I don't even give a shit either. Mind your fucking business. Ah, uh, win. I think it was probably a shill. Highly secretive media propaganda groups that eventually uh, brought him, us to the ball, Earth, and outer space spells. Well, there is that aspect as well. And he's, you know, related, you know, he's in the Thule organization and, you know, black magic and everything else. But there is aspects of that. You know, there's the blood flag, the blood flag, which is definitely some sort of magic uh, process which he did um no we do fun crowding on instagram to raise funds do we d i've only got like when i go live on instagram i only get like 20 people in there for some reason oh what was that it's managed, it's managed, it's managed. the what click the link okay yeah 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 right what's my regan oh, i was regan yeah 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 and he got shot in a brian yeah i remember that but that was a psyop as well fucking shot it was like when pope john B john ball got shot wasn't it pope he didn't get dead you get shot you get dead that's the rules isn't it 
can't survive in these. Lucky these fucking presidents and popes, you know, with your fucking gunshots. Fucking hell, if you lived in the Bronx, fucking hell. Be dead in no time. Anyway, we're moving on. Let's have a look at some Hitler. No, we're not going to take, we're going to take this with a pinch of salt, okay? And that's a good saying, that, isn't it? And we're going to lighten it up with some humour along the way to, you know, you know, to you know, sugar over all of the manky corpses if you do actually see any. Okay. Not that I'm expecting to see any manky corpses on it. He's just saying, in case is war. Just saying. Anyway, great info, dude. Thanks, friend. Okay, there's a long way to go, yeah? So I better get stuck in, guys, because he's going to take the time for fucking never. Okay. Um, was Abraham Lincoln black? Fuck yeah! Everyone is, mate. We're all black. I'm black and so is my wife. Now, Hitler at, guys. Hitler at. Now, let's have a think now, right? So, he's a bit of a homeless person and he goes to Munich and Leipzig, his favourite town, and Munchen. And he goes there and he likes architecture. Now, they say, like, he went to art school and they said, no, this guy's just fucking shit. He's no good. He's not going to make a money or anything. I, I, I beg to differ. I think, you know, he's got good death, got a bit, bit, bit of uh, perspective going on there, but, like, he's out in the open, isn't it? He? Plus, he's, you know, he's just got gassed in the fucking trenches of the First World War. So, anyway, so he's supposed, apparently a brave cat is, uh, he was a runner, which means he's fit, which meant he was dodging bullets all day long, uh, getting messages. So, he left, becomes homeless, and he's vagrant. And he's painting these to make money for himself. And notice what he's painting, guys. Notice what he's painting. So I think that's quite good, myself. And I think he has feelings. I think we're looking at nothing to do with psychopathy at all by looking at his work. Nothing. The colours pastel. They're not like in your face, smashing you in the face like a money would do or an impressionist artist, which you would expect with like Van Gogh. It was totally fucking batshit crazy, by the way. And you see it in his artworks. So he's doing domes and double antiquitech devices. Uh, a lot of uh, tech on that. Beautiful little dome. So, yeah, this is what he's doing with his day. I think that's, like, photorealistic. There's a little mirror there as well with Phoenician stuff on it. Would you really have a mirror in the street? Or did Adolf ha add that? SS? Did it add that later? There's been a big industry in fake Adolf Hitler had Some we can really, you know, we can say that they were his. But there's been a lot that's been put out there, like the Hitler diary fiasco. But it's basically people just saying this is a Hitler painting and, it, you know, getting a lot of money for it. But, yeah, I think that's really, really good. I think that's photorealistic-ish. Antoniovich. So that's possibly he went to Vienna as well, but. He's doing the Antiquitec, isn't he? He's doing the Antiquitec. Is his interest. Look at that colour. So I'm not seeing a psycho psychopath at this stage. Oh, that's 1912. So this is before the First World War. Oh, excuse me, he hasn't gone to the trenches just yet. Two years after this then. Uh, I don't know how he did that aerial perspective. Maybe off a picture. But that's beautiful. Bit wonky in that, but we'll give him that. Other artists. Fuck me. Look, look at Picasso. Shit. Yeah? They're just pretending. Then people are pretending that shit's good. That shit ain't good. I could do better than that, yeah, guys. That shit. I'm not being funny, but that is. That's not bad. That's um, Vienna's Opera House. Vienna Opera House. Oh, yeah, he certainly knows what to draw. Okay. And some um, alpine scenery. You see what I mean? The Venetia, the Vienna Opera House again. And some mud flutters. I've buried windows. It's not interesting that he's just doing this sort of stuff. Nothing to do, you know, he does a bit of artwork when he gets to the trenches. And even they got feeling. It's just crazy. Oh, that's nice. That's not bad at all, is it? I must say. And, uh, you know, little church devices and fountains. Now, remember what I just said about, um, you know, the reanimation of the information left after everybody was killed in the last reset trillions of us so then they got all these fountains that are giving all of this water this special water to the to the water air for everyone to breathe so yeah he did a little bit of um first world war 
uh, paintings. But still, you know, could be worse. <laughs> no man's land, couple of German uh, tanks. And one blown up. And Eeps as well. The cathedral, he painted that as well. So he did some of the ruins. But it's all about architecture. And as you know, oh, as well, he does that. You know, this this psychopath, this this guy who's actually an actor, because um, the only reason he got the job to do what he was doing with, with politics is because he was an orator um, in theatrical performances. So he's a bit of a Noel Coward. Yeah, guys. Yeah. All arty farty. Likes doing pictures. Yeah. And he's not doing nothing that nobody else is doing in this time period. Just joining like some sort of weird fascist organization because everybody in the world was, weren't they? Or communists or the um, or Nazis, which is no different to, by the way. National socialism, communism, I don't see a distinction. So, yeah, he's doing beautiful watercolors, vibrant color. That is stunning. Yeah. And then he's apparently a mass murdering psychopath. Not bad, eh? All right, they're not fantastic. That one's not bad. That's a bit fuzzy and stuff, but, well, I don't know. And he does these. That's not bad, guys. I like that. That's pretty colourful. Oh, look at that. The Phoenician statues. Oh, this is 1700-style carriage and clothes. So he does a bit of uh, imagination thing going on. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and this is apparently just sold in America recently for a squillion dollars. And it was taken in 1925. And apparently um, it's Hitler's niece. Okay, because apparently he had some sort of weird thing, which we won't go into too much, apparently with his with his niece. Or so the CIA say. And they just sold that in America and saying, he got his niece to take his kit off, yeah? So they're making him out like that's all fun, fun. So, the master race, the Aryans, they went in search of them. Yeah. Is this, is this indicative of the Aryan woman? Yeah. I'm just saying. What the fuck happened? So, he, had a, he gets the right strop on, does it? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's like pissing him off. He's like, you fucking touch me again. I'm going to snap that fucking finger off. This guy's literally shitting himself. He's like, Oh, the Fuhrer looks well fucking pissed off. Yeah. Now, Adolf's not like his all his broskies. Yeah. He's, he always wears pale brown, no uniform, no badges, no regalia except for this and a pin, maybe. He doesn't wear his Iron Cross except. And all of his guards, they all got like Hugo Boss on. But not him. He's not like that. He's holistic. He's a vegan. He loves his Alsatians. This is not reading the psychological profile of a psychopath so far. Maybe I'm missing something outside of the program. Yeah. So here's making plans. Oh, they're all you. So Martin Borman, he was a crazy motherfucker. Where's he to now? Martin Borman is probably sitting at the high table, probably 95 years of age, still alive, still hating on everyone. So let's have a look at Himmler. So he's a bit of a, he's a psychopath. Himmler, the chicken fucker, I mean farmer, is a psychopath. So he was apparently the architect of said uh, 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 hollow cost. So, yeah, they're planning battles because apparently Hitler is an unbelievable strategy, strategy genius. And he compares himself to Alexander the Great and Napoleon. Yeah, he's listening in intently. Probably going to be... Barbarossa, and then they're going to go get their ass kicked in Russia because it's a really bad idea. So Hitler was very, very, very popular with the German young ladies, apparently. But he looks rather embarrassed there, and they look all really, really young. In fact, I would go as far as to say this was a sixth form college or something. So that's a bit weird. But that's a setup, and it's on the cover of an American Life magazine. Like, look at pervy old dad off there. In fact, I would say that's even been inserted that image. But they are definitely kind of corralling wrong to some point. So this is an awkward image, isn't it? This Hitler, yeah, on a bad day, he's a bit flatulent, okay? And he's trying not to pretend, he's pretending that he can't smell the Fuhrer's smelly guffs. He's got Admiral Nobody, he's got Herr Flick, okay? And a load of Nazis. He's got 500 bodyguards around him. 
So you get a little bit of regalia on in his brown suit, but he's not going super fantastic. And you've got that silly moustache as well. It's like, any of these fuck up and they're dead. And it, you know, your Führer, this is how this shit could go down, yeah? Anyway, there he is, doing his orating. So what he does, he does his little speech. He shuts the fuck up so that everybody is silent. He's like, yeah, you wait for me. You wait for me to fucking talk. So they're all waiting and hanging on his words. And he even stands about a minute or so. And they're all like awkwardly cleaning their fingernails and stuff. And then he's like, mm, you fucking bastards. I kill you all. No, he's not like that, actually. He just goes on about, basically, he's got to plumb up his ass about the Treaty of Versailles, you know, and hyperinflation. And I'm going to drag this country out of the dirt away from the Riemann Republic, which he did. He's done it super fantastic. He saved every fucking thing. Jimmy was on its fucking ass. I think what's going on with the Zeke Hall, you know, do you know what I really think they're saying? It's flat, yo. Think about it. It's flat, yo. He's going, no, yo, it's flat, yo. Yeah? I think that's going on. Look, he's doing it there. Flat, yo. And there he is, signing some bullshit that he's never going to be able to do anyway because basically he doesn't keep up to any of his deals. He'll try and fly into Britain later, oh, yes. Uh, to make it, you know, to go to a Scottish castle and, you know, plead for surrender because apparently Hitler keeps asking, you know, Churchill over and over again, look, we're not going to be able to have brandy at the working men's club. We won't be able to hang around any more Winnie Pinny. Any chance we could not have a war this year? And he went in to sue for peace because basically Churchill's a fucking twat, isn't he? Um, and he got arrested, and they basically spent the rest of his life in jail. He died in the 90s in Spandau Prison in Berlin. Sick state of affairs, really. But let's be honest, guy, um, guys, gals, right? Anybody who possesses them eyebrows deserves to die in Spandau. I'm just saying. There you are. What's he saying, guys? He's saying it's fucking flat, yo. Yeah, so there he is with his gimps. I mean, um, it's funny how they do look like gimps, though. It's the same colour uniform, isn't it? So there he is with his blood flag. So basically, if you're going to go into any battle, you have to touch your flag against this flag, which has got blood on it, sacred blood of the dead, of the rebellion that he took part in, or never took part in, in Munich, in the Munich rebellion, that he got chucked in jail for, etc., etc. And what you're going to do if you are a, a megalomaniac, apparently psychopathic, world-dominating leader, okay, is... Well, this is what the CIA say. It's get a big fuck off amount of people. Yeah. All super fantastic. Like, yeah. No music much, though. But they're all delirious because he's going to do like a little hair flick walk thing, German style through Nuremberg. Yeah. And these, these are apparently Jews. Now, we're in 1939 at the moment. This is going to be in about 1945. I dare to say this could be millions and millions of the population. But they do get uniforms. And Hutz as well. There's him. Uh, yeah. He looks merry and all of that, but he's secretly plotting to kill just everybody. Yeah. Tatters, gypsies, gays. He's gay. He's fucking gay. Look at him. Yeah. He's kill your fucking self then, matey. Uh, he's going to kill all of the Jews on earth and everybody else in between because this is what you're doing, war. But we've done a deal with basically Russia. And Russia are really good at killing everybody. So there they are, Nuremberg, billion squillion Germans strong. There they are, it's like, it's moi, yeah, check me out. Yeah, He's an actor, guys. And I would say he was, you know, basically a sensitive person, probably boring as asses, and not really, you know. They say when he sat around having these meals and stuff that he was just boring with his, oh, another fucking Hitler monologue all night again. Oh, he told this one. Oh, Jesus, it's that one when he ran over the trenches. So there he is, it's flat. It's flat. He's telling you it's flat. He's saying it. Read lips. Read German lips. It's flattened. Flattened. So they had basically their own sort of art in World War II. This is indicative of Nazi art. So it's a bit Aryan. And it's a bit like, we're so strong, we'll fuck you up. But like in World War II, you know, if, to be you know, in their defense, they were a lot bigger than British people. And they did all look like they would fuck us up. Just saying and classical statues as well. It's all classical, because that's what they did. So, CIA said he had a weird thing going on with his niece. Yeah, I can't. we can't confirm or deny whether this is happening. They look quite close. He looks quite contented. He's having a little snore. Uh, apparently, she basically couldn't stand it anymore. 
okay and she killed herself according to the official narrative i'm not going to go into the you know apparently what they say their sexual practices actually were if any um with his niece yeah so that's what they're saying about it look that is photographic evidence that he was sick with his niece there's nothing wrong with that is it so i'm just saying but um is it true is it not i don't know do i care i don't think so <laughs> it's all stupid isn't it anyway we're moving on cia said that so it is all thoughtful possibly elements of what they say is true but he looks deep in thought there i wonder what he's thinking about plotting to take over the entire world no doubt yes i can do it yeah i can sue for peace too if you know so yeah he dragged him out of dry shit. He invented nice cars he got everyone all super fantastic he got rid of all of the scummy like you know basically like the film cabaret they had a really bad scene going on down on the rape of band in it so this is how they get him a star shot. He's like, that little match man, you're not supposed to show on camera. So, uh, yeah, he's fucking up his moustache. What well, moustache would suit him? Uh, I think curly on the corners myself. Or a tartar tash would be rather splendid. His hair looks fucking terrible. Looks like Pamez. So as you can see, yeah, he appreciates music as well. He likes to get down. Apparently like the movies too. Apparently like the Wizard of Oz. Apparently this is dictator Charlie Chaplin was one of his not favourite films. And there's dragging dead bodies out just as a contrast by the chains on their heads, as they do. Apparently those are dead babies. It's not nice as in following that with anything, but that's war. And that's war. So they do have some official shots. No, I notice Hitler's holding his hat on. I notice there must be a particularly windy day. And um, he's talking with his generals before a battle, holding his hat on. Maybe his fingers are actually stuck to the hat. It's difficult to see. No, this hat is not killing it. This is not becoming. This is something you should tell him. But, you know, he never had a roof on his car in his defence. And his air was blowing all over. So he had a stupid fucking driving cap on. Really stupid. And the trousers that they wear. They're stupid. Why do they flare out anyway? It's fucking stupid. Yeah, maybe they're all shitting themselves and they keep him in there or something. Look, just signing autographs. He seems so jolly and stupid. Here he is, super fantastic rock star. Hair flick. Do you see that hair flick there? It's like, oh, wipe that sweat off. I rock. Yeah. It's half a billion people come to see me and I rock. Yeah. Well, what a palaver. Brainwashing. So, yeah, he was shit off acting. He probably went over to the board in life, not get up to none of the things they say. Look at his clothes. He's like, I'm not playing. And he's like already in it. He can't get out of it. Yeah. yeah. All brainwashed. This is fucking where we are at now. 1939. Cool. 1942 is going to suck. How far is that? Oh, that. That's about three years away, two years away. The army are training. So there's another one of Hitler's buddies. Yeah. The Papal C. Papal C. Okay. He's like a double Zikhail, isn't he? But they would, because they're all Nazis as well, aren't they? And he's got the devil on his uh, on his thing here, Satan. But he would, because they're the church, aren't they? So, I think the wall was telling us all along. This is what the people are doing right now, aren't they? On march into their tune. It's fucking crazy. Thankfully, there is a sort of resistance going, but what is not controlled out there? <laughs> fucking worrying. Uh, but they had a lot of time to plan things out. They knew, you know, the people would come up against them. They knew people were going to know the truth of this realm. But everyone just marching in line, all singing the same song. But that's not what we witnessed today in London, guys. Yeah, that was a fantastic thing to witness. I'm, I was spewing that I never went, but I, I just thought that I might get arrested because I had a bad nightmare this week. To it, in fact. Oh, there he is. What's he doing there? Looking at some more plants. Go fuck some shit up. And they had, like, um, basically, they had back to an era, apparently, that didn't exist. So it was all, like, you know, a fairy tale kingdom. So, firing squads were real. Boom. Yeah, dead. But they're not Germans, they're actually. The, oh, they're the French. So the French, yeah, they like to bump people off, like No Tomorrow as well. They're quite good at it. The British, they fucking nail it, killing people. SS, yeah, look. Yeah. Don't fuck with a ninja. 
Send the SAS in. Fuck them up. No time. So look, all the ladies waiting for him to come up. He's done, he's done that hair flick thing, but they're all pretty excited. Look at the state of their propaganda, Minister Goebbels. So they're just gangsters, really, aren't they? And they got like some guy, kind of useless idiot to be their actor. They probably all bullied him. He's got fucking Borman to think for him. You really wanted to. He said, I should have done what Stalin did purge all my generals. Because he couldn't stand them. Oh, there he is, him. Yo, bro. Yo. Oh, he's like, Yang's wrong with uh, Mussolini, don't he? They got a thing going on. Oh, yeah. Look at him with his hands. Oh, you're the one. You're the one. <laughs> Seems so jolly. Maybe I got it all wrong. He's a psychopathic murderer. But at this stage of the game, does it matter? I'm going to flick through these again. All right, these. That one's a brilliant shot. Another brick in the wall. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just not getting that buzz. Anyway, let's have a look at some film of him because he basically loves his ships too, doesn't he? So there's a few of these out there, but he goes off to the fleet with um, some of the Germans. Look at this, guys. They're all standing on the um, on the air dams and the uh, and the masts. Check that out. Fall off there, you're fucking dead. Dead. There's no way you're going to survive that. Splat on a deck. <coughs> fucking hell. They got an eagle on the front of that one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Churchill uh, caused World War II. Well, it's a, it's a bit of a coinky dink, worldwide ghosts. That he writes a book called The Gathering Storm that talks about, and it's like, oh, I was prophetic. You were prophetic, my ass. It was fucking you. So there's the U-boats. I went to a U-boat station in Saint-Nazaire in France. It was fucking brilliant. Oh, and in La Rochelle. Brilliant. They had all like um, submarine numbers up on the wall. like a German shit. So, yeah, um, the not utilised in World War Two. This is a wasted Navy. Um, Churchill did one of the worst killings of World War II, uh, which was to order the French fleet the Vichy fleet, which were on the German side, uh, blown up at uh, Merce, uh, Marseille Harbour. Um, I think it was something like 2,700 Frenchmen were killed when we are fighting and on their side in the north. So it was tricky, and um, Churchill was not fought very nicely. Nobody liked him anyway after the Gallipoli campaign of World War One. And the guy's a psychopath any fucking way. Yeah, nobody liked him. Not the British people like Winnie, you know, guys. Oh, no. Nobody liked him. They knew he was a warmonger. So, yeah, they had some pretty shit hot stuff. All of that, never ever used. The best warship they had, the Graf Spree, as you know, probably stayed in Montevideo Harbour for the whole duration of the war and all that other ships. None of them were utilised. So, let's have a think about this for a second, guys. I've been thinking about it since I was a child. Now, just because Eric Dubé says that basically the Jews never got murdered. doesn't mean to say any Jews never got murdered. I think fuck loads did. But I'm also thinking it was all of the Tatarians and Bio-Russians and Gypsies and any aspect. And as many people know, it was artists, academics, uh, free thinkers, Jehovah's Witnesses, um, any religious thing outside of the Catholicism. They were going to bring in a new religion, by the way, but that never came to fruition. Hitler didn't get away with that. So um, this is a, a World War II or post-World War II Soviet propaganda movie about Auschwitz. Now, what I can say, guys, is I um, explained in my last post maybe two ago that my Auntie Aha, I'm Estonian, okay, guys? My Auntie Aha is Estonian. And she was interned in Auschwitz, but she was in a different path. And she was in factories and never seen nothing. She had a tattoo. But she never seen nothing about a death camp at all. And nothing about death camps at all. But if you've seen the size of the place, you will quite understand. So, enough evidence out there. I mean, it'll be a bit controversial here that the Zyklon B maybe not done what they said. And enough evidence that the... the the gas chambers didn't exactly, are not there anymore, and evidence that the ones that are there can be opened from the outside. But these documentaries given us to on YouTube, and I'm starting to get suspected. Everything that I've ever seen beyond this point in time, I'm not even joking, it's outside of what Flat Earth British Think Tank and Associated Channels discover. So, yeah, this is um, a Russian propaganda film, and it shows you the arrivals. The arrivals in an internment camp. Americans have done it. 
British apparently invented concentration camps, they say, in the Boer War. But the Americans did it beforehand with, as I explained, Andersonville and others. So they never killed them all, did they? They kept Because when they came into the camps, there were still people there, although they were a bit fucked up. So they had 6,000 volts of electricity traveling through an electric fence. The place is as big as any city you can imagine. It's just amazingly big. Look at all of this wireage going on. So they, they give them huts. They had huts. In fact, me, she's old to be surviving Auschwitz. She's a... So I'm guessing there was death on a daily basis. But look at the size on all this, guys. I guess this is where my auntie worked in his factory. She was a seamstress. But yeah, so this is like Chernobyl-sized industry. You know, just massive, massive plantage. This is all at Auschwitz as well. And they utilize the workers. You know, like in Schindler's List. It got, you know, he's like, oh... um. I need these workers to work in my factory. And it's like, oh, get an exemption card, you know, so they can fucking just go free. And they, they literally sent like literally tens of thousands of Jews back to America on luxury sailing ships as well. As well, they did. They did. So this is the evidence in a, a Russian propaganda film. Now, for my money, guys, I'm just saying that Stalin was most definitely a homicidal maniac, psychopath. No doubt about it. He would kill every motherfucker that looked at him strange. So I'm saying after he purged all his own army and declared war on the countryside and got rid of all of the fucking Tartars, I'm saying that we and the Russians discover these concentration camps. And it's easy to blame the fucking, you know, the people who have lost the war. Yes, isn't it? And I'm thinking that when they arrive, you know, these people are hanging around. The Russians had exactly the same death squad set up as the Gestapo had set up, guys. So I'm, I'm suggesting that, yeah, fuckloads got killed, all right. No doubt about it in my Brian, six million, who even knows? But I'm saying that they were all in it together, guys, is what I'm saying. And this, if we, they reset civilization and they're getting rid of a lot of people, getting rid of antiquity, etc., why are they not getting rid of them in a death camp? Because they fucking are. Yeah, look at it. FEMA. 6,000 volts of electricity going to zap you. So it was a massive setup. So would they have set up an industrial complex to get rid of millions of people? This place or hundreds of thousands or a million or whatever got killed in here do you think that then why haven't they why are they still sat there why are they still sat there all right it's cramped it's shit. it looks cold they're old okay now i'm not being funny but i tell you a lot of these people look a lot healthier well not her um than people live in my area speed this up a bit and then the endless amounts of missing people from world war one and two and in between and everywhere else in the cold war how many people were missing the cold war this shit didn't end do you know when the americans came in guys yeah to these camps or the british went into burger belts and it's like oh no 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 you can't feed them yeah no no they got stretchy lip man they fucking die if you give them food so just give them tiny bits of food and keep them in the camp and they locked them up. So the Americans locked them up. The Russians had field day with them, I do believe. Um, and some members of the German army tried to hide the evidence. But there's enough fucking people left at the end, isn't there? In the uh, liberation. And there's the Russians. This is a Russian propaganda film painting. They're all fucking pretty. The Russians are fucking monsters. Absolute fucking monsters in war, guys. Why do I say that? Well... My father, I have his fucking war record. I've read it. My father served for, for what, three years in the trenches in Finland and just reads like a horror fucking story. So here's some of the pictures you can see of this. And like I said, some of them are really healthy looking, more so than the area I live in, in the modern day. They arrive in trains, they got bags, they give them uniforms, they give them stars. And then apparently they go off to some selection process you know, men to the left, women to the right, take your clothes off, de in. So I don't doubt that they were getting ripped off because the Jews got all the money and all the gold, haven't they? And I um, was a friend with a guy called Jan. Jan, he's dead. He died about two, three years ago. And he was um, a Polish guy. And he worked in Auschwitz in the war. And his job was to, to search the inners of people, so it's male and female, 
uh, for diamonds and uh, stashes and cash. And uh, so, so it's a big rip off as well. They're ripping off the Jews. They knew they'd have a load of money on mass and um, enslavement of humanity. But they're doing the same thing now. This is, they can do this. They can order this during the pandemic. They can order this. You'll be standing outside a fucking Walmart waiting to fucking go in like this. They're already wanting you to um, have a, you know, a passport for a vaccination. And there's going to be separation between them that have it and then that don't. So they give them uniforms, a bit like the arrivals, isn't it? So 76 pictures. And all you're seeing, she's smiling, they don't look unhappy. It's clean. Well, he's not too clean, he's a bit scruffy, but clean. Not starving, but not starving when they arrive. Thought they were all crunched in a hundred at a time in these little tiny uh, railway carriages and dying on mass. But that is in Hollywood, and you know, Steven Spielberg would never lie, would he? ET phone home. <laughs> Just saying. They don't look happy, but they'd be taken out of their home. Nothing worse than being uprooted from your home. And if you have got a home and roots, that is. If you haven't, it's like, well, let's get this shit over with, isn't it? Tom, Dick and Harry. Fuck me, you survived Auschwitz. Wow. I I thought they got rid of all the disabled people and all of the spastics and stuff. It's some sort of a eugenics program. Oh, look who they mentioned, Spielberg. All of them, Lucas, Spielberg, Satan's little bitches, spinning out them satanic lies. So, yeah, don't know what to think about it. I'm saying a lot of people did die. I don't know about the numbers, probably fudged and all that. But I'm saying these armies are all in it together. It's all the fucking Phoenicians. There are no distinctions. And this was the last throes of the Second World War where everyone was just scrambling for whatever Europe was left. People, they don't even fucking come into it. And it don't matter where you're from, guys. You know, in my head, guys, it's, you know, it's the government. It's, it's the powers, isn't it? The people are just in their houses. They just want to be left the fuck alone, go to work, and love their families. Same as they're all of us. Everywhere in the world, the same, guys. It's only them creating borders and fucking conquering to fucking rule against man, against brother and sister. It pisses me off. That's one of the worst things I hate about this can't stand about this place is they did that to us uh, that separation so new subject now and quite an interesting subject if you don't know about it we've been looking into this for a couple of years now looking into alternative fires and heating in the age of gilded age of Tataria. what we found what we found was they were using radium heating and they have some unbelievable styles in radium heaters. Now, I'm thinking to myself, this is more widespread than we might think. I'm thinking a lot of those plate fly fires that we're seeing with andorons. I was discussing it with my, with my son, and he, he was thinking that andorons would need some oil or something to be able to radiate a heat out. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe, you're, maybe you're right there. So maybe that, you know, connected to a back plate in steam. Uh, it's not emanating radiating heat, but radium definitely is. They've seen it a lot differently um, back in the day. But what I find beautiful is the styles. really love the styles of these radium uh, heaters. They cook food with it, the agars as well. So I reckon a few converted or being converted, which were originally for um, radium to, to uh, coal burners. So you could just wheel them from room to room and this radioactive product, as you could see, would just irradiate, emanate and apparently not harmful. So that was probably the heat source and not bog standard or coal fire before the age of fossil fuels, etc. It's possibly there's an old Russian booklet there showing the inners of the radium heater and how this shit works. And also agars as well, working on radium to cook your food. And they're absolutely beautiful. You see the little radiation sign? Yeah. It's a radioactive cooker. What do you think? Not bad, are they? They'd be quite beautiful. And there's the range that you could have had in uh, the golden age of Tataria. Michigan stoves, radium heated. And this one is in Hereford Cathedral. How do I know? Because I've taken a 
load of photographs of it myself and I didn't realize I thought it was steam powered and apparently this one is radium powered and I've seen a few of these as well but the one I noticed in Hera Cathedral when I went to see that map of Monday guys took photographs it's like whatever's this and normal bog standard radius radiators as well look very antiquatech e very ornate lots of uh beautiful bits added and there they are in like log cabins you can see the radiation sign so we just have had a, a cell uh, you could get you know like a little radioactive cell they come in a box or something i'll show you in a minute and insert it and it would like radiate heat i guess you could uh heat your whole house with these or cook your pot i bet that cooks absolutely beautiful ah so so many about i would think i was thinking because there's so many styles it's so ornate um that these were definitely more widespread than we've been led to believe because going on how many styles there are look at them guys there's literally dozens of styles and they're all beautiful see little radiation heater and look at this one for the for the elites so the elites had it too which makes sense with um well, basically, you know, them artworks that so they have over fires, etc., mirrors everywhere, which would be completely fucked up. But not so if you had a radiating subtle energy into the uh, environment. It would be beautiful, I guess. Oh, I love this one. It's a bit steampunk, isn't it? Jub the Jupiter. Nice big chunky bits on it. Nice little radium eater. What have you got that one? <laughs> That one's my favorite so far. I really like that. Nice color green. And that one looks pretty nice as well. And it's got glass doors. Maybe it's got wood burning abilities too. And another one. And look at this one. Wow. We should have these now in the modern day. It's 10 times better than a cooker. And I want that. I don't want a radiator. I want to be nice about my radium. <laughs> My radium heater. So, is it hazardous? Well, I don't know. Galen, Galen Windsor seems to think this is all cushy and you're going to lick it. He licks uranium, by the way. And um, this, and you can escape a scam, isn't it? I've seen people doing backstrokes in the swimming pool that they put uranium rods in in nuclear power stations. <laughs> and they'll use nuclear power scares as well for keeping populations down. It said on my news feed, I'm coming on Google the other day, that, oh, what would happen in Cardiff if Hinkley Sea melted down? And it was all about, like, evacuating populations. And I was like, fucking, why are you telling us that? See what I mean? Mirrors and paintings. So a lot of these were, have, must have been uh, ready to be disguised. Don't about it. Three beautiful styles. Which would you have? I know which one I'd have, that green one. That's a bit regal. A bit too regal, actually. Oh, there's another one. They look like they're real robots, don't they? I love them. Oh, that one's nice. And that one's in a pub. Little radiation sign on top. So I've had food from an egg and it tastes absolutely beautiful. It's just radiating heat. Gets, cooks the food like um, like a duck shit. It's just absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love that. So can you imagine now having that in your kitchen in the old days? Oh, that one's fucking beautiful. All that copper water as well. Yeah, they say if you just drink your water out um, of a copper kettle, or boiling a copper kettle, um, or just drink it out of a copper utensil, or even silver utensil. Like they used to have silver uh, beakers, didn't they, back in the day? So these help as well with uh, well being, which is what we're all about on Flat Earth British. So, oh, fuck me, how many are there? Oh, I love that. Can you imagine how did they get that in the house? It must be a couple of tons. Maybe they just put it there and build the house around it. <laughs> so, how many have I got watching? Let's have a look. I've not got a clue. I'm going to wish you all peace and love. And, wow, 1,330 of you watching. <laughs> uh, well, much love to you guys. There's much more to come, actually. we got some super fantastic stuff to come for you all. Some stuff you never knew. Some stuff that's not been known in reality, actually. So... Going on, the Anderon could be a, a radium heater, which I think is the case now. 
Um, is this the case for these obelisks maybe as well? Because they look like this. Could these be radium heaters? Could these be for post-apocalyptic terraforming technology or something else? Because um, it looks like the Andoron in there. And I thought, yeah, I never thought of that. So, yeah, they could be. They could well be. So, luxury. And they had them in big, stately homes. The double Andoron steel plate. Never had a coal fire in it with, you know, high-end art hanging over them. And I'm guessing this is a heated chair. From what it looks like, it's heated by Antiquitech. And I don't know where the radium would go. But maybe in there. But it's probably um, some sort of therapeutic chair. I'm not really sure. And these these fires with radium technology. Ooh, I like that one. It's trippy. Trippy. And then you get this. I guess and this is a boiler, maybe. And you can boil water. But it looks very modern, this. So, yeah, why did they go away from radium? Is it that hazardous? Did it kill anyone? Not got any reports. So you wouldn't have a raging fire with that fucking priceless artwork or the smoke ripping up. Because these, you know, if you've had a coal fire, I'm sure loads of you have, guys. You know, this the smoke bellies comes out, doesn't it? And you just wrecks your room. You wouldn't have all this wallpaper and carpet and fine artwork anyway, which makes no sense. Look at that for Phoenician mantelpiece so yeah mantelpieces are really really high in a lot of these buildings and i'm going to talk about that a bit later if you notice on my community page i put a picture up of zan nicholas ii standing on a giant mantelpiece so they're either playing uh floors lava or the he's showing you that these are just giant mantelpieces they are for giants from the previous reset um before everybody got killed and reanimated into the phoenician paradigm which we find ourselves in not the originals, but the, uh, there are originals in here. Originals of this place. How long has it been going on? Over and over, I would say, guys. Over and over and over. Until now, everything's changed. Just this moment. Just knowing what we know has changed everything. Break some magic spell. That's how they come. The radium emanator. Just put that into your uh, heater. And you get bags of heat off it. So I think it's good technology. I can't verify if it's going to and cause cancers and for bullshit because I don't think it would. I think it'd probably be beneficial. <laughs> More technology of the antiquities. Now, this is brilliant. This is there's so much in this. They, they're ghetto blasters, guys. They had ghetto blasters in 1908. In this, they have um, a gramophone. Basically, you can take out in a box with a fold away speaker, and you pull, you know, pull a speaker out, unfolds it, and you got like basically you can have music in the pack. And uh, all these are all the designs. And to be honest with you, they're really, really futuristic compared to you know, what I was thinking. Uh, so, yeah, there's all sorts in this concerning um, electrical technology of this period, 1908, which is the Edwardian period. Oh, is it going to buff? Um, you know, these gramophones here, they have versions of this. Let's go back a little bit. that You can fold away. Oh, what's that map? Look at this map. So, uh, yeah, all of these are quite interesting. I haven't read them all because basically it's just so many of them. It's 850 pages, but adverts of what technology was available. And some of it's quite surprising, especially all of this electrical music like that. Records. Columbia 1908 as well. And these things, this is the gramophone of the day. They're not that nice, you know, they're sounding, I mean. But the furniture's shit hot compared to nowadays, to be honest. So let's have a little, uh, see if they can show us. So yeah, 800 of these crazy things. Is that the fold away one? I think it is. The ghetto blaster, yeah. <laughs> I love that, that you could take it in. Musing folding horn. So basically you fold it away, put it in your pocket. And when you're, when you're out there, you know, basically we, we, uh, gramophone on your shoulder strutting down the road because you don't got to get a blaster yeah so his master's voice was out so it's all Phoenician connected isn't it phone phonograph the echo phone echo echo uh sell or give it away uh buy our system you will double your record and machine sales really that sounds daft taft yeah, well, he almost sounds Welsh him. 
So yeah, it's not only music in yeah. Look at that. Ugh. High sky peerless. So I was just thinking about what we were talking about earlier. And I was thinking, where does that put the higher self? If we are I'm not saying that we are, but we we were actually not in the real world. And even in the case we could be like in a vanilla sky scenario, because we're all dead. Um, then our higher self, um, our conscious higher self, would exist in the real world, which is not here, by the way. So, yeah, I've talked about these before, but there's plenty of them out there. It's talking television, which is Skype, which is actually called Skype as well, used in as early as 1936, 1928, 1923 even. So I think it's safe to presume that you could jump that back um, 10, 20, even. 50 years earlier and the Victorians like Queen Victoria um, if they got him in this early period would have definitely 1928 Skype and they're talking to people across country and later internationally this one's burning to Leipzig Skype calls see their face and uh, this is the technology behind it all so I think it was safe to presume that at some stage that, you know, they definitely had this technology. This is apparently Napoleon spyglass, which looks suspiciously like a lens of a camera. So I think they were watching the battles, you know, on basically television real time. So ghosts, ghosts. I had a nightmare. I had two nightmares. So my first nightmare was basically, it was a micro nightmare where I just basically dozed off. And there was people banging my door. And when I answered it, there was a guy. Uh, there was, I don't know. I didn't see anyone else, but there was an alzation there. It was dogs. And he's already in here. And I'm like, get the fuck out. You know, there was already a scene. And then I woke up and I thought, fuck me. There was people at the door. That wasn't a nice dream at all. Two days later, I have a dream. And I wake up shouting. I wake up shouting, fuck off, ghost. Where I'm punching midair. And it's not a ghost as such. So I'm in this room here, but the room looks completely different in the dream. And I can see something moving. And when I stare at it, okay, it is, it's a scarf. It's a see-through red scarf. Dark red, almost burgundy, with some decoration on it. Some uh, imprint, like dots, but darker color. So I really see this thing. And it's coming at me. It's coming at my face. And I'm punching it. And it's just, no, I can't do nothing to it. And I'm going, fuck off, ghost. And the feeling behind it was just unreal, unreal. Can't even tell you. And then I'm just like, it's, it's just get, trying to get on my face. And I'm fucking like, and then I woke up shouting, fuck off, ghost. That was the words that woke me up. I screamed it, yeah? The weirdest thing about it was what happened next. The weirdest thing about it is what happened next. Can't get my head around there. Uh, it was just mind blowing. So, I'm awake, I just had the dream, and I'm trying to come to terms with what i just seen, but there's something attached to the dream. And when I visualized in my mind that red scarf, I had a feeling in me I was indescribable. I mean the rush, the buzz, the fucking feeling, and it wasn't bad, guys, let me tell you, it wasn't bad. Um, so I concentrated on it on, on more, and it got so intense, I had to cut it. I cut it. I cut the experience. And then I, out of curiosity, brought it back. And I'm telling you all, I can't even describe what that feeling was. And if I stopped thinking about that red scarf, it fucking instantly, click of a finger, it disappeared, that feeling. It was that spooky, guys. So there was something attached to it, that scarf. And the feeling behind it was unfucking describable so I thought it was a message and all that and then since then I've just been having crazy downloads the world's been looking different shit it's just been crazy so ectoplasm ectoplasm is it a thing well I've never witnessed it but apparently you could have manifestation of some spirits in ectoplasm so ghosts what are they have you ever had any ghosty experiences people say these Victorian sure uh, double exposures and a hobby of the time yeah to make ghost pictures because they're all crazy spiritualists this period now i know a few people that have had ghost experiences and i've had ghost experiences when i was on a haunted ship when i was in the merchant navy i mean loads of highly highly fucked up ghost experiences one ghost got me to punch myself in the nose so hard 
that my nose busted all over everybody. I mean, it exploded. My nose, it fucking exploded. Uh, whatever had hold of my fist and had punched me in the face with it. Just like in the film fight club, it was fucked up. That happens a lot. There was other people had stuff like that happen on the ship, but it was something people, spirits there. So I think they were there. And what I think has happened is when it's trauma, it'd be like, if you think of this thing as a simulation, overrunning, overrunning, and I'm thinking, you know, just like a video image, like a recording. And I think buildings, houses, because uh, they're construct, I think that they, they trap like a, you know, resonance or a, or a feeling or a, a recording. So, you know, this is the reason why I smudge every place I've ever lived in. I smudge my house or my flat here on a weekly basis to get any bad energies out. Now, I don't believe for a second ghosts are manifesting um, in bed sheets. Having said that, I had a ghost dream the other night and it was a scarf. Yeah? And it was like something controlling it. This is supposed to be a World War I photograph where this guy shows up behind this guy and he's dead he's been dead he's been killed that day but he still turns up in a photograph that's supposed to be one more famous trusted ghost photographs so yeah relatives have had uh my auntie apparently she was she reckons she was repeatedly raped by a ghost she swore to the entire family um so there are all sorts of strange ghost happenings and when i was at sea there was a lot of really weird and explainable shit and stuff you see as well um i've seen one like this as well which is just like a ghost you know like the, the see-through image i've seen seen them as well and shadow men and gremlins as well so um they fit they would fit in the simulation they are glitches they are recordings they are foldovers they are captured moments and this one seems interdimensional so that could be going on as well there was this study, I don't know whether you've seen it, guys, this one study of this one lady. Apparently, she could see interdimensionally using this this camera. It was an ordinary camera. Um, really spooky. I should have maybe shown that photographs. Um, where you would see, basically, another dimension. This, it wasn't a camera. It was this lady. She had the ability with this camera. Um, they did a scientific study on her. I think she might have been Russian. No, she was American. Yeah, I remember her talking. Really interesting. She didn't seem like a fraud either. So I bet these mental institutions have got fucking terrible demons. And these have been witnessed stacks of times in hospitals. People before they die, cats show up, fuck off. Um, you get these black demonic figures on some bad people. You get the evil hag sitting across people's chests, choking them a breath on their last breath. If they've been totally shit in this realm, they can expect the old hag, they say. So I think ghosts are real. I always have. And I get a weird feeling whenever I talk about them as well. And um, I've experienced quite a lot of it. I don't know how many of you really have. Maybe you want to let us share your ghosty experiences with us. Because every time I read them, I have a mad buzz on. I really do. So, yes, they fit. And they're ghosts in the machine. As we are. Save our souls. So I think I'll come back for a minute, actually, and I'll share a little bit more in a minute, because there are so many of you. Do, 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 do. That's me, Flat Firm. So many of you watching, 1,000 of you. So what we got to share coming up in a moment is decodes. I'm going to share some decodes. There's been thousands of them, but i got to like just go through the portal once, but lately it's just everyone's just flooding us out with flooding us out with decodes. So, if you ask them, let me just find them. So, Lee, who's there, who's just um, invented the uh, deck computer, which is basically the Tower of Babel, which is a computer or a program or a load of people that are getting together to work out some sort of program to avert any reset anybody just saying uh maybe we should be drip feeding ourselves maybe distill water but i think we should do something i think the food is fucking killing us as well what i mean by killing us is taking us out of this realm okay and affecting us spiritually okay they try to do that they try to fuck with that they try to make our balance a ball that's is what we find it so um Words. What about foreigner? Foreigner is foreigner or some or foe. Rainer. 
like some rain person who's raining who's a foe a foreigner isn't that funny and what about explain it's explain isn't that weird as well so yeah we've had uh, loads of decodes if i can just find them wherever they all are i've got loads of bits of paper everywhere actually so how many of you watching thousand people fucking hell it's just very very weird or if you should show up on a friday night so i was gonna have a statement from king queen firm they ain't happy about what's been happening they've been grassed up like no tomorrow about what they've been up to haven't they we'll look into a bit of royal stuff later i gotta be careful because basically i'm on british Isles, basically the only land that i'm actually the only air that i breathe <laughs> Yeah, no. That can't last. The monarchy, after all what everyone knows, that can not go on. Surely, hmm? everyone just paying taxes towards the them when they do what they, you know, what they do. It just sounds insane. It's insane to me. I don't know what's fucking going on. Should I all refuse? What would they do if every single person refused to pay taxes or play their fucking game anymore? Or go work or do any of it? Yeah, or any of it. So you lot fuck off. What could they do? Prison everybody? Get the army in? Put a gun at you? Bully you? I got a census of sat over there, but unfortunately I've had an accident with it. If I got a large letters, they're scary looking, yeah? My rabbit fucking eats them. And basically, I got up too late, and the rabbit had ate most of it, so apparently I can't fill it in. I don't know what to do, but don't worry. Yeah, I know. Handy rabbits. So, Patrick, what are you saying? Patrick O, uh, let's get rid of the vestiges of the obituary rule, their families. Yeah, well, the past is missing, and I knew the dead were missing. I knew the whole past. Of the, you know, the Dark Ages is the Dark Ages, because it ain't fucking there is why. And he added, you know, chronology. And, you know, if you look into the Scalagerian chronology, this guy was fucking dead of a worship. But this guy's evil as fuck. And we're taking his chronology. It just sounds insane to me. But Christian you know, society, theology goes with it all. It's really weird. Wesley Snipe or Snesley Wipes, they would probably try to kill us all with vaccines or make us sterile. So in um, a generation time, the new COVIDians. Uh, we'll not be able to have any children. Just like in the film, Children of Men. Don't you know? So, more information. Picks of the day are fucking fabulous. We've got loads to go. And I'm going to get on with it because it's 11 o'clock and I want to finish by 12. Three hour vloggage. So, yeah, 12 hours last week. Unfortunately, I got 12 hours left. So, at some stage in the game, I'll do another 12 hours presentation. Maybe once a month or something like that. Because why because i can and i will <laughs> anyway <coughs> fucking hell uh what did henry kissing just say about vaccines <coughs> dick richards <coughs> what's empty in my comments kicking right fucking off saying and basically use your evidence that he never said that but i don't think it matters i think that the point still stands and it's true anyway so it's campbell autodidactic say no to paying bills say no to it all say no to just all of it it's just how many people get ill and get worried and sick because of the pressures of all of it that they're making you pay that you can't afford anyway you know they're always trying to get blood out of a stone you know people are mostly working for fuck all um and the rest of everybody else is on some sort of universal credit shortly to be on a international some monetary credit and everyone's gonna be on the same fucking thing it's gonna be awful for everyone complete and utter metropolis just a nightmare scenario something's not done i keep saying the same thing over and over again don't i if something's not done soon never gonna get out of it how i'll just go with it may i think there's going to be a mirror call at some stage in the game i i uh ooh, ooh, i joke it at some stage of the game, and I just had to go with it. Curious life. You're in the first chapter of my book, H, my new book, H. I shouted you because um, concerning a video where um, basically Bush spills the beans about uh, terror attacks and just says the wrong thing. Uh, so I basically just quoted uh, about Bush. No, not even quoted you. I just chucked you in there. <laughs> but um, it's going to be fantastic. I can't even believe they're, they're letting that out. It's just, I'm thinking to myself, well, how? 
and they, 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 they passed this you know yeah at first the book never got accepted the editor sort of chucked it back and said oh no this is too fucking much Just amended it a bit fucking thought it you know what they done but not really yet souped it up and um accepted it for fuck me so they all of it's in there you know the dialectic the covid the fucking lot i'm spinning the beans on everything guys i can't even believe it's going to go through i read it i'm like it can be fun cool <laughs> but it's all been said already on different vlogs and now there's no you know but it has to be updated to the present day chaos says jesus and vividness is saying hi to campbell chunk man 99 palamo good to see you as well geo shifter all hail i want to see that again too mm. and patrick and jason biden is chris evans no that's a silly one that's a really silly one it's getting silly now of course he's not not he might be i don't know uh kathleen simpson good to see you m fisher how oh, we enjoy government on essential yeah man if we had like so self-governing duchies and got away from all governments we don't need them what the fuck would we need them for everyone have a fair equal opportunity in this place and people should be encouraged to thrive with the talents they got instead of all being taught stupid bullshit in school it's like what are you good at you know good at art good at whatever geography history whatever concentrate on that get them a fucking doctorate in the subject you know it's just they don't do that they they never encourage the individual like this it's all stacked against you because you're in the game and now by some weird act of god uh, we're all in the biggest game of all luca because there's no other true fuck me you know there in the world you know in the english-speaking world this is it we all know most of them uh naturally natalie good to see you what are you saying martin nika oh excuse me uh did you watch jason's whole video uh the protest it looked awesome only while i could i had to go out i was really pissed off i had to go out and do stuff go shopping basically but i really enjoyed it jason's a mate i was basically i had a phone call this week uh off basically big bry uh one well, of big bry uh saying jason's going up i was should have tried and get a lift off him really it's a problem see if it's a protest you don't know what's going to happen i don't know where i'm going to end up and i can't just get an hotel i wouldn't have been able to so i mean fucked and i hate being stuck in other cities i really fucking do and then you gotta get on late night trains and all that then i back and forth the city in one day is not my thing it's all day traveling that way uh Je jenny turner which is tiring and walking for fucking miles in central london and all the energy of it ought to be wiped out uh clean drifter but i can't manage these things i've got a lot of stamina surprisingly you wouldn't believe <laughs> i don't fucking stop guys i'm hyper uh andrew android box People are thinking actors play all the parts. Biden is Captain America or some shit. I don't think Biden's even fucking real. Never heard of him before, but I'm British, so I wouldn't. So anyway, on with the show. Buckle in. we got a fucking load of good juicy stuff to show you now, guys. I'm going to start here. And ooh. on with the show. Okay, so we've done that one. I'm going to look at some pictures here, which I've dug out, which are mud flood. And they are various of Germany and such like. But they are showing you some of the places in Russia with just wooden, muddy shacks. I quite like the idea of living in a wooden, muddy shack, <laughs> really, in Russia compared to these unbelievable antiquity buildings. No, just bear with me. No, these were fantastic. I found these. I was just, it fucked my head up. No. What we're looking at here is really early okay photographs of casa blanca white castle uh casa blanca in morocco i'm thinking what the fucking hell is all of that is that is that attached to that car uh this cart or this whatever it is bus but uh, we have a lot of communication towerage going on what looks like a wireless thing there but i thought what they're saying in the official narrative is setting up for the arrival of a president of Casablanca. And I'm looking at the roads and I'm thinking, what? Because it really does look like there's been an event and they're digging all of the shit out. The coast of Casablanca. 
So yeah, they put in apparently yeah, an arch for presidential um, arrival, apparently. So it's, what did they commandeer all of the town in the mud? Cause it's all in the mud, isn't it? And this looks like an antiquitech device. Crazy images. There's another one. One of these bank things on the corner. Got more aerials than it should have. It looks a little bit like a castle. 100% mud flooded. Windows down there. All right, so they're going to tart up the entire center of the city just for presidential arrival. I suppose that's possible. And they're all in on it. Plenty of the old ladder lineage. Or are we looking at the touching up after a reset? Open to interpretation. They do it. Wow, look at this old gate. I wonder what that gatehouse was for. Oh, my God, just coming up to four. Look at that on top, though, with the uh, zigzags. Wow, that looks like some sort of array. And there's a ladder up there as well. Ten to four. Uh, ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Well, if you're wondering why I'm saying spooky, because there's an overwhelming amount of clocks in antiquity have captured that time of just coming up to four o'clock. And even, you know, when you when you see them, then you see them all the time. It's like, oh, you look at a church clock and so like, oh, fucking hell, it's 10 to 4. Happens all the time. So what, that's part of the presidential uh, arrival in just doing every building up then, are they? Maybe he's just caked in shit. Hmm. I don't know. Something weird about that shot. It's mud flooded and they're digging everything out and they're tightening everything up. Seems a bit of a mess just for this wooden. What I'm trying to say is, just for this wooden arch, it seems like an unholy amount of mess, don't you think? It's just, you know, it's wood, isn't it? It's not like massive stone structure. It's wood and maybe steel. Yeah, all of that chaos. More going on. So, more photographs. I think these are of Halifax in Canada. And there's some of St. John's too, but we've looked into these cities, completely destroyed, Italian cities. But what I want to know is, we're looking at the late 1800s. This is the city before it was blown to smithereens by an armament ship going off. What are they on the hill? Because television is not invented at this period. And yet all of the hills has went like poles, the aerials and tennis. weird isn't it nothing new is under the sun so yeah all of st john's and halifax both halifaxes because there's one in nova scotia and newfoundland as well which i got confused about in the past but who knew i do not uh both got destroyed as well fires don't you know oh, there's a lot more wiring you know, on a bridge is there oh i got a rabbit sort of Cutched up against my foot at the moment. Wow, oh, that is so off putting. Oh, bunny. And he's at uh, Is Tan Tin Pull. And well, the next photographs will be, I think these are German. Just let me just stick through. So, yeah, what we got is um, Remnant of Antiquity, late 1800s. I find it fascinating that Athens' is Parthenon has only just been wrecked from this basically this end of the world that happened which I suggested was 1300 because it's the only time scale that actually fits because of the because uh, the Gregorian calendar and everything. It was another age. It has to be. It is that. I know it is that. I know. I do. I do. I do know that. Nice Templar and all the evidence points towards that. So, so yeah, we got some ancient antiquity here. Look at this all buried, ransacked. And I wonder what this little slit does. But you can see how deep it is in the mud. And, you know, it always looks like, um, is that my scene? It always looks like, you know, just not far after the flood, you know, like this, this year to me is a wall. And these stones here are not natural. They're a wall. You can see that they're right angles, aren't they? So whatever was here before, it's been completely dusted. It's been melted. It's been heat hitting it. Whatever that was on top of that has been heated. And there was a, I think they said there was 
I think it said 60 bodies or something that were in this. There was a load of bodies, 60, I think it was, um, in this bunker. So, um, yeah, they have bunkers, like I said, for the reset. Look at this, the deep the mud is. The mud has rolled in down here. It's just completely buried that. And, and above it. So this is a pyramid. This is, this is just like the pyramid of Giza. Same triangle. You can see the right angles there and there. Uh, cute, but it's definitely an ascending. That's a pyramid. That's a pyramid in um, Moyeni. Excuse me, I really don't know where that is, but if I had to, had to guess, I'd say that was Greece because the clothes they got, or Turkey. But yeah, pyramids in Greece, or Turkey even. Wow, and totally buried in mud. That's brilliant, that one, guys. That's brilliant, that one. Oh, I've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. This looks like Mesopotamia for sure. The size of these stones, guys. So it had to be an you know, unbelievable almighty event. Heat, plasma, also water, and force. Some sort of blast wave of force as well. So look at this, right, guys. Corfu, the island, the Greek island, where Prince Philip is from. They still got a Greek temple. Some sort of fort on top. Yeah, this is interesting. This one, I'm not sure where it is, but it's Greece again. You know, this massive thing. This looks like a pyramid. But if you're going to put your fort anyway, make sure you put it on top of there. And I bet there's all tunnels in there as well. These mountains got loads of cabins. This is an unusual one as well. The whole mesa looks uh, like it's got mud up to here. And it's just buried and the old classical world just sits underneath it it's fucking brilliant that one and an old temple the temple of jupiter or bacchus or baal who even knows but they're all the temples that are exactly the same the greek is athens and passing on up on the hill so this is um you know mount olympus and the, apparently the olympians or the greeks who were you know who are the greeks who are the phoenicians who are the romans here we are we're coming to constantinople now um the bosphorus i've been here a couple of times myself absolutely mind-blowing place highly fucking dangerous nearly got myself killed a few times because um yeah they, there's something wrong with them they didn't really do chaotic things they were very very well behaved people apparently so um apparently you just can't take their car and drive it so look at that greco romano weird moorish actually isn't it that one what's that look at the way they spell constantinople guys with a k con stan so we've got tin and opal so con like con stan and tin and opal constantin and opal cool two metals well a metal and a stone so um i was docked on the one side of the Bosphorus, on the Uskadar side, next to this giant prison. And a docker guy told me it was where they filmed Midnight Express and it's still a prison. So I'm like, oh, fucking hell. You know Midnight Express, you seen that film? Phew, nasty, nasty, nasty. So, uh, Haji Sophia was Byzantine, was Christian, and now it's Muslim. And a load of the melted old world. It's all still everywhere, really. Biggest city in Europe, 17 odd million people. What is that? Oh, that's a water feature. Protected under Antiquitech. Because he's got his feet in there, I think, or something. I'm not sure about this center bit. I'm not sure about that at all. Oh, right. So that's a coffin, isn't it? All oh, right. Look at the decoration on that. Four candles. Yeah, they are four candles. Not sure. Any Muslim you look in? Let's go in for a mag. What are we looking at here? Can't really tell. Just uh, part of a church or something. Oskage. <coughs> Excuse me. Big doors and everything outside is not looking too good. So no Christian feel in this. Is there no seashells, no Phoenician? Something missing here. Technology. Wow, that looks like it's been heated. All the stone there. See what I mean? And, uh, looks like it's got a wooden roof on it. And it is uh, 
Brusa, whatever that is, Turkey. These are twirling dervishes. Difficult to say. They don't even look human. And look at this in Constantinople. They've gone back to the sea now from the K. Maybe there's a distinction, Constantinople. And uh, well, that's the Phoenicians, isn't it? What's with the little tents, guys? Gad's got tents, is it? Okay. Go with that. Perusa. It's got a water feature inside the mosque. The fountain inside the mosque. And it's, Fe it's Phoenician. Hang on a minute. We got a Phoenician water feature inside of a Muslim mosque. So how can they reconcile that? Right. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what's going fucking on there. It's really strange how they would allow that, but they do. Maybe it was there before from when it was a Christian mosque, a Christian church. They say we know it's an antique tech device, don't we, guys? Oh, they're good. All right, moving on. So let's have a look at some nice filmage of the old world and have a little think about things. This is ice breaking. Now, I've worked on an icebreaker that could break up to a few inches of ice, and I got to go into like icy parts of the world because of it. And it had um, a massively overpowered and um, strong hull, strong bows. Right. So the engine's driving forward, it lands on the ice and it crunches it. And all of these people are standing on the ice knowing it's going to break below them. Whoa. Fucking hell. Kids! Move, move back, kids! Ah, oh, That's nuts! So what's it called? The tar something. Tam. Wow. So I'm guessing they all got it. I don't know. Maybe it's the tongue turns up. Wow. So, yeah, I was. Uh, it was only um, 8,500, the Captain Fearwise class. But I tell you what, massively overpowered ship. And she would just whiz through ice. Quite thick, like this stuff, guys. Whole ship shudders, like vibrates. And after a while, it makes you ache because it's vibrating on your body all the time. And you guess, like, um, you know, like that white finger you get off Jackhammer. You get that thing going on. So this was a photograph taken of a house fire where a man has had to chuck his four-year-old kid out of the window. So he's like, poof, caught by firemen. They had one of those net things. So I I'm just suspecting the kid did get captured and then we went to the pavement because that would be a sad story. We don't do sad stories on Fact of British. So here's some old film of Hollandland. Well, it's a little bit different from that colour footage where everyone in the city has been told to stand out. But there are still a few people. Amsterdam. Yorkshire Film Archive. But Petergate is much wider. Petergate, where? Petergate. Well, that sounds English, doesn't it? Oh, the motor cars are around. around. Hmm. 1920, that was. So what other films have I got? I've got a couple of you. These are interesting. I'll show you them in a minute. It's a second. Fucking fascinating, these. Got one other film there. Of I know it's not seasonal because we're in the first day of spring, and this would have been all right a month back, but these are the Victorians having some fun throwing snowballs. Isn't it fun? Oh, get the guy on a bike. Oh, he's... Wow, he's fucked right up. God, yeah. <laughs> they patted him. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, he was like the worst thing he ever done was going down that road. That was like seriously fucked up. They had him bad there. And that wasn't even set up. That guy fell off his bike. Well, these are a dodgy crew, man. They'll have you. Pure dusty snow, though, isn't it? Well, that poor guy on the bike, he's going on with chill blains now. So, nothing like a Victorian snowball fight. That was fun. I love these old little films and gifts. You can pick them up and you don't get copyrighted, but they are fun to watch of the old world. Right, this is good. Folk art. What I mean by that is it's art 
in America they did using human beings. And this is of Woodrow Wilson, the American president. They used soldiers by the tens of thousands. Okay, in this case, 21,000 officers and men of Count Sherman in Ohio. And they are citizens as well, it looks like there. And they all stand in perfect place. They all know where to stand with the different color shirts on and where to put the black on. How, I do not fucking know. And they all make a Woodrow Wilson, 20,000 people, yeah? That's not all. They did an ape as well. All of these are people. So what, that's Camp Lee. So there's a lot of soldiers. But what a control of humanity to make them just stand there and do this stupid shit. For what? I look surprisingly, not surprisingly, it looks very, very flat in the background. So they did this one. With a load of people, 18,000 officers and men of Count Dodge and did that. Human Statue of Liberty. Well, there's a good use of human resources, I must say. And of course, the American, that's because that's the whole world there. By 5,000 enlisted men. So these were enlisted. And they did a little uh, American anchor. Oh, it's an anchor with wings, wings open, eagle, active charge, and an anchor. It's got the Phoenicians full on there, and the American eagle. The human American eagle, 12,500 officers, nurses, and men of Camp Gordon, Atlanta, Georgia. So there's the nurses there in white. Find out there's a lot of nurses in Georgia. There's a lot of people, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, how would you going to stand there? You couldn't have that in the modern day, could you? Because of COVID. <laughs> and they did the Liberty Bell with all of them people, guys. It's just absolutely mental, mental. Oh, they all got like Doughboy uniforms on them, have. 25,000 officers and men of Camp Dix. Oh, that's an unfortunate name, isn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what re where do you camp? Camp, camp Dix. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a really unfortunate name. But it, it could be really unfortunate anyway. If you know, if you were wrongly named since you were trying to work your way up in the army or even in the navy, you know, what if your name was like, you know, is it as you know, army ranks rhymes with wanks for start off? Oh, what you in on that, guys? Stars, double Taurus. What if your name was Bum? You know, like Private Bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not good. What about Major Bum? <laughs> well, that'd be bad. What about Admiral? Admiral Bum. That was an Admiral Bum. What about Ordinary Seaman? That'd be a bad one. Oh, look at this. The use of... This is a good use of cannons. It's better than killing people. We'll just make silly decorations for the number one. I don't know. I reckon I've been in too long with this stupid COVID. You know, I need to get out more. Oh, so they did a little castle, and that's the engineers. So, yeah, I've never seen them before. I thought that was a really interesting waste of human resources. So, this is when the world goes beyond retarded. So, I picked these up. Apparently, this is the world today. Now, I know for a fact, although I don't really like to bring this up, but women, as well as men, suffer with flatulence. Is this not a fact? I mean, some women are terrible fucking guffers. Yeah. It's true, guys. I know. You know, it's tragic, isn't it? Put them on this pedestal thinking they're like, you know, made of womany stuff, which they are, which they are, but they still have gases. So apparently the new style on the catwalk, this pandemic is wear a lady or wear, um, <laughs> wear a woman. Yeah. I don't know if they do the intersexual, like, you know, if, if like a man could wear a woman. Because I don't think that would be too... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> she should work for NASA. Yeah? Can you imagine her on the, sp on the ISS? How oh, fucking much it stinks. No wonder her hair's all on her end. Like, I know exactly what's sticking in her end. In her hair. On fucking the ISS. So, she's like... <laughs> that really, really smells. It was quiet, but I smelled it. <laughs> she's trying to squeeze it in. She's like... They're not paying me enough. Yeah. And she's like, ooh, this tickles. <laughs> Fucking look at the legs on her. She's like a sumo wrestler. I want like a, mind you, both of them got a sturdy pair of legs on her. She's wearing the new scarf, the modern era. Two arms, 
and a pair of legs. Yes, it's getting hot on the back of my neck. <laughs> yeah, I know. The world's gone double fucking retard, guys. We should be concerned. This is serious shit. This is on the fucking catwalk, like, yeah? It's bad enough got men, like, sat in rounds and dresses and stuff, but this has gone fucking too... This is just, like... This is just silly now, isn't it? And it looks really, 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 really gay. So she's like, I'm wearing my favourite friend today. <laughs> she's like, can I be, can you, can I wear you tomorrow? But yeah, she's got the ISS hair on. Uh, definitely all got that going on. She looks really happy. Yeah. It's <laughs> good for social distancing, guys, because you'd have that pair of boots to stop, stop, uh, Somebody get into you, wouldn't you? Get near to you. Yeah. I'll say Max on her knees there. I'm not saying her cab bit. I'm just saying she's got Max on her knees. It's really strange. But she... Wow, the world's strange. Anyway, let's go on with images of the day. It's 20 past 11 UK time. How many of you were watching? Still a thousand odd. Uh, 66. Thank you very much for watching. And on Flat Earth News Reports Facebook... Richard Lopez, much love, my brother. Thanks for letting me do that on there. And Facebook, my Facebook as well. Thanks very much for doing that on there. So, yeah, all of the epics, don't they? You know, epic of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. And all um, the voices of the past tell us that this place was completely smashed, ruined. There was a reset and everybody died. And I'm saying... Um, we are post-apocalyptic survivors. Shown this hundred times, but it's my favourite building. It's the biggest building of apparently the Victorian era. It's Brussels. It's still there today, but it's all surrounded by bigger buildings. and You can't get the same perspective. But it shows you the older world so well. You know, just the scale and just the wowness of it all compared to the shit they come up with, you know, since. We can't build. We, can't, we cannot re build this technology these were not built by us they were built by the last lot the others whoever's here now uh not from here there are originals could be more than we think so this is a obviously off hanging off a church but it's um some sort of fish serpent is it um, an eel eels are interesting aren't they they're electric as well aren't they so in the reset apparently as well there's terrible sound and there's a lot of lamenting, and they're all fucking sorry because they wore the mask, they did what the man told them, they never stood up for themselves, and, um, you know, took back their power, and that is what they get. Hell. And to their own right, yeah? Grow a fucking pen, is what I say. What's happened to this fucking culture anyway? Back in the day, none of this shit would have happened. We've never put up with any of this. Do you know the 1950s in Britain? They was up in arms about identification cards. Now, certainly, you know, you got to fucking just tell them everything. I would have had to tell them everything if my rabbit hadn't have my fucking sexes for. I was unfortunate that. But they're big, scary ones. You know, I've trained her to eat them. So this is, uh, I don't know if this is Jesus. Yeah, but this is Adam. They're actually showing. He's got like, she, oh. Is that a belly button? They got no belly button in this one, have they? Maybe a little belly button. She's young as well, isn't she? Uh, Eve. Is this God? Yeah. So the manifestation of this realm and this place and this water, the pewter, if you like, is starting to make a whole lot of fucking sense. And I can feel it as well when it's happening. You know, every time we lift the veil on a new thing i feel it it's just everything changes everything changes so apparently this is a um, real apparently it's in a finnish museum i think in helsinki helsinki and it's an old um, female mermaid they say it's real but you get a lot of mermaids this is i can't give you the artist but it's an undergrad it's basically an underwater artwork contemporary modern day um, but I think it, you know, I left it as a thumbnail because it sums up well, you know, the reanimation of people or the reanimation of us after we were completely decimated in the uh, last reset and the information was um, in the water as, you know, and the essentials, the matter, the makeup would have been captured in, in the mud, making us mud men, mud women. Exactly what the Bible tells us with Adam in one uh, scenario is like mud. 
So they do tell us, and they tell us with um, the even the official narrative. If you think about it, guys, they tell you, uh, "Oh, we came out of the sea. We were a lungfish, and then there was a bolt of lightning, and then this life happened, and then we changed into a fucking space monkey, and then a couple of epochs later, we arrive at human beings, which is obviously completely fucking insane because obviously we're not space monkeys because monkeys are still monkeys, and evolution is obviously." completely nonsense because there's no species that's turned from one species into another species anywhere anytime on the realm ever yeah my cat turns into a chicken yeah it's one of those things on our list of things that have never been said yeah just saying and i think the uh statues the phoenician statues and it's all there and it tells us it tells us of the reanimation so after the renaissance period late 1400s through to early 1600s there were still events in the 1400s there were still strange atmospheric events earthquakes and comets destructors and these strange orbs now i've heard a lot about these in um, different narratives these orbs that turn up um, i think that they tell us about them the orbit scepter um, and more strange atmospherical phenomena, 1400s, is, you know, s you know stone falling from the sky. Uh, fire and brimstone and stuff is still happening because this is a post-reset society. EM still strong. We're just feeling uh, the ends of it. So we got a strange wiggly eye for five, six. So we're still having fire and brimstone. The world's still burning. So, the people who are in the catacombs of Paris, are they from the major reset and the flood? No, I wouldn't say so. I would say that all of this time after, there has been a great struggle for overstanding of the reverse engineering of who we are. Nobody seems to know, uh, except the elites. And I think a lot of people fucking died. I think that they have reset us at least twice since Noah's flood flood that i've been talking about um, maybe three times mini resets and calls of the entire population of this place they've done it over and over and over <coughs> so this was um apparently j520 and there seems to be some strange what looks like a rocket ship with flames coming out but it can't be 500 years ago a rocket ship because that would make no sense but get them in these depictions books and comets as, as weapons or as destroyers and as you can see we still have some um, cryptids in the 1500s so some still stayed around and i'm thinking that the elites had kept these you know like xerxes would have gimps and freaks of nature around them and this guy's got this one on chain so i think any survivors would have been kept for elites for um, souvenirs novelty purposes of the old world i definitely think some cryptids and definitely giants came over fall of man i think worked that fucking one out so we got a three five three three uh if that wiggly thing designates an eye and we got fly, flying dragons flying fucking dragons wow three sons so there are literally dozens of these depictions of strange atmospheric phenomena so i'm thinking with the reanimation of us i'm thinking plasma definitely played a part i think there would have been a, some sort of from what the allegory shows is there was an interaction with the sky that made all of this happen so i'm thinking that maybe if there was a plasma discharge event post flood the the electricity may have reanimated i'm just chucking that out there so it makes sense don't know what about this one from um, I three O slash slash seven S or dot seven and possibly an S. So it's difficult to determine um, the date of said image of churchage burning and what looks like a flying saucer flying down from chemtrail or chem cloudage under the dome, by the way. So yeah, you get a few of them and you see them in the, the Phoenician depictions as well. It's flying discs, and that one's flower shape. 
and some more medieval depictions you can see that everybody goes into bunkers cowers down some of the bunkers get sealed over and they never get out but a lot of people did survive while the entire of civilization crumbled and they show you in countless depictions and then they show you the aftermath and then the phoenicians they come into the new ports of the new world their ways with trade and their maritime law and everything from our birth to our heath our death is determined by what they brought here and it's evil it's satanic the babylonian cult is satanic it goes against everything the people or the people here feel or think it goes against our natural science the way we feel about our environment the way we interact with our environment with our consciousness and um, they've hijacked consciousness they've given us fake um, idols and worship and belief systems i've mentioned google belief before guys that's clutching fucking straws i think we should be dealing with what we know and what we've learned and i definitely think we're being guided here by you know the higher hand okay hidden hands who is the most high so what about this this is like that one off of um the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger when he goes to Mars. What's that film fucking called? I'm sure one of you would tell me. And um, the, the face, the visor goes ch -ch 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 back like that. So is it some sort of cloaking technology? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, a million sort of strange mask. Really cool. What about these? I think these guys in uh, China, wherever they are, india maybe and i'll show you, maybe burma are showing you the giant guns now these ain't dudes guns guys yeah because they've got two blokes and what are they showing what are they fucking shooting anyway tyrannosaurus rex check them out so i'm thinking that they're showing you you know the giant guns Look at the size of this one yeah and it's got a is that a mag i'm not sure if it's a mag these ones are huge here too huge here too but these two are by far the biggest this one is just like a bazooka yeah and i definitely think they're showing us you know giant weapons you know, why why would they be so big when these guys are little fucking no offense but little guys aren't they look at them giant guns guys i think they're showing us and the phoenicians they show us all the code the mirror the mirror reality the reversal of everything I'll tell you one thing, the image uh, melancholia is starting to make a whole fucking lot of sense to me now. In fact, I was staring at it really, and when I came back, it, yeah, they'd fallen off the wall. And I thought, yeah, fucking that makes sense and all. So here you are, Phoenicians, post Renaissance, showing you some sort of ball here, but there's no map on there that anyone can recognize. They're showing you somewhere completely different. And she's showing you this cameo above it. And she's pointing to somewhere. I think that's a clue. These clocks are unbelievable. <coughs> Excuse me, aren't they? So playing cards, money, relatives, perfume, gold necklace, musket, hourglass, more cards, skulls. A whole lot of skulls, a bit of armor, some candlesticks. Mm. That's so deeply coded, as I would even imagine. I just slipped that in because it's a female waist. So there's loads of this classical world stuck under the uh, sea in the Mediterranean. And this woman, or this Phoenician, or this sunken classical person, who are all dead, except for some who survived, the elites who survived, uh, they are homunculus. And I'm thinking, oh, hang on a minute. So the alchemists are making homunculus. It's all about the fountain of youth it's all about the philosopher's stone okay i'm getting it with the mercury bit through every level and getting what's going on with that especially with the reset aspect so are they the giants and we are the monculus and they just this is the monculus alchemical symbols are telling us about the resurgence of us so he's the right way up by the way this Phoenician, yeah, an obelisk. He's facing right here. And this image shows you the plane that we live on. It's completely surrounded by, in this case, concentric circles, and then the zodiac. 
and a controller who is outside of this realm. See, I'm seeing it all in a computer way now. Uh, she looks like Paula Yates that I was mentioning the other day. Paula Yates was, met, was married to um, Bob Geldof. She said he was totally shit and bearing the right drip. So, like publicly. So, um, but he is a right drip anyway. I stand the guy. This is a space rocket. I think Falcon Heavy pretending it's going up. Soon it'll come back down, go back in the water, obviously. But I think it's a good example that shows you, you know, the medium we live in is definitely water like um, from its um, apparently exhaust plumes. I'm mean, showing you it's just like a speedboat cut through water. Yeah. And that sun's looking very portal y, I must say. Again, with the water. So there's like literally a worship for water post um, post reset as well with the baths, the Phoenicians and the bath houses. So yeah, I got bunny rabbit. He's literally under my, she's under my feet right now. She's absolutely lush. But in a, in the old days, rabbits were so big that you could ride them around the countryside. I really wish this would come back. I really would love to take a bunny rabbit up shopping. It'd be fucking brilliant. My bunny's right beside me right now. Hi, bunny. Yeah, I'm Pat Bunny. I'm like Willard. You know, Willard for the rats? Well, I'm like if Bunny Rabbit. So, yeah, this is the decoding that we've been doing. It's the allegorical Bacchalamian artworks, which show you their arrival, the rebirth out of the water. Even this one, again, out of the swirling waves, plasma burst, which shows you there's some sort of correlation between plasma burst and um, rising from the water. I think the whole thing. And there you go again, even in that. They show you a giant is molding. I don't think this is Goddage. Is molding a man, a man out of mud. You know, there's a few images out there. There's just basically sum it up, sum it all up. Mud men, Pink Floyd. <laughs> so, we could well be homunculus. So, a pillar, pillar, people appearing in the sky. Oh, little kiss going on there. So, what the fucking hell? Look what's just showed up. And that's the jester. Jester's an essential power. Apparently, they're the cleverest people around in the medieval world. Uh, but Phoenician whales, apparently, all come up your river. Um, and in this case, he's just chopping it up. I think that's really cruel, but the same token, you know, you've got to eat. But that's a catch, isn't it? I bet he went on about that for months on a pub. It was this big. You're exaggerating, Cyril. So, yeah, in uh, medieval times, they fed you some stew. If you was um, if you was hungry, and they're like, "Would you would you like a sponge bath later, sir?" Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> <sighs> sorry, sorry, I don't mean to love it at all. I think I've been really well behaved for this vlog, yeah, because after you know the carnage of my last vlog when they said that I was being like Harrison to who, to who, I just I, I just buttered up every everybody that everybody else hates. By the way, yeah. Wow, this place looks a bit manky. There's a wall there. Wall there and a lot of rubble. Nice bridge though, isn't it? Wow, look at that. I wonder what these are though. They got like um maybe they run the electric cables for the tram lines. But yeah, you had trams as early as eighteen eighties, electric trams. And there's the world of electric trams. Oh not cars and that's the fucking case. But I have to tarry it. Beautiful. Yeah, this one is um, a bridge. Like, so I'm thinking these things on top of this bridge house is some sort of um, energy transfer or because it's not advertising this thing on top here. But um, if you have a look here, there's rails. But all you see here is a horse and cat. So is the cat on rails? Have they not got trains? So why is there a horse and cat in railway lines? It's a bit confusing, isn't it? Uh, so that's what we were looking at, San Paulo in Bristol in uh, Brazil, guys. That bridge, with them beautiful ornate bits, um, and it got electric trams and motor car. So there's something going on with opticians, dentists, all of these people who are affiliated to this paradigm. Probably unconsciously or consciously, they know they're a part of it. So beautiful architecture. I'm just looking at these crazy pair of glasses up here. Pasteur. Is this Louis Pasteur? 
Could be, could be. I'd love to know. And look at this. All right, so I can't tell you if it's later or earlier, but what I can tell you is they're walking on wooden boards here, no pavement, considering the buildings are so fucking fantastic. And no um, rails. Um, there's rails. So is this on rails and the horses are pulling it? Well, that makes no sense, you see, to have rails like that. I'm thinking this is like a lie or something. It's had to be it kind of an electric gone to horse and then later back to electric. It makes no sense why you'd have rails. I don't know. Instead of wheels. But what about this building, look, guys? Yeah? What the fuck is that? In antiquity. What is it? So, breaker one nine, breaker one nine. Yeah? 2020. We just had a 2020 on these fuckers. They got a CB aerial, what's called a dipole. Um, don't you? rabbit was going to eat my book so this is in edinburgh beautiful little images i thought it just gives you the scale of um the monuments in um, in edinburgh um i guess in the perspective thing it brings it forward more and you know, obviously mags it up but wow look at that two contrasts in our culture the modern double day bus which in them days would have stunk of cigarettes um and would have been a really unpleasant experience you would have been sick um, by the time you got to work um, and probably had all sorts of non-existent viruses because it was a really unhealthy thing um, and the beautiful architecture in the background wow so here yeah, I showed you some of these now he's got some sort of Anderon shirt and, they, and he's got some sort of thing here but I can't see no fire going so I'm thinking you know with these bars across it's some sort of tech and he's showing us I'm not sure what he is showing us is an exceptionally big room and as somebody suggested in my comments, is he playing like a floor's lava or is he showing us how high that mantelpiece is and he's like showing us the giants used to live in my palace in St. Petersburg because St. Petersburg was built by giants, don't you know? So there's more communications in the past and not a lot of people know about all of this, but yeah, they had this. Pop inventions. Can it be done? Okay. HM 20 dead and 50 missing in Dingleburg in Downton on Sea. And you get like basically television, newspaper. So I guess like CFAX. Someday you may be able to receive a front page. Yeah, can it be done? Fucking no shit. You got Skype. You can do that. And their computers. World knowledge at your fingertips. A fantastic dream, or is it? So, yeah, and look what has happened now. Everyone fucking got the information, all this information, and look what's happened. We called them out, they've been talking shit, and we trusted them. We didn't even know until we looked for ourselves because we had the same information that they could look in for, into that they've been hiding from us all this time. You know, the academics, I mean, and Professor Bullshit. So, IBM computers back in the Get these extra engineers needed. And look at this thing. Valves were amazing. Valves were super fantastic. So you've got a rotational television screen. It's more Cathay Road tube to, to work here. Signal boosters, amplifiers for mu you know for speakerage. Photograph, autograph receiver, photo auto receiver, newspaper roll, uh, newspaper pen, voice power amplifier fourth dimensional loudspeaker wow this fucking thing's boss eh? uh sound chamber wow this is gonna pump yeah so we shoot for opening photos only so basically you've got television you've got it prints photographs and it's a fucking wicked wicked stereo all at the same time wow i'm quite tempted to have one of them but they knew how this thing would be going yeah the world there was a prediction of 2000 is one nasty ass boss and everyone in their little cubicles just little bitches lying and doing whatever just to have a, a lesser lifestyle mostly to keep their greedy narcissistic capitalistic wife off his back or vice versa february 2012 uh, modern electronics but it looks a bit spaceshipy there it is, isn't it? The electrical magazine for everybody. So, yeah, really early for electrical stuff. Tesla, 1856. 
1943, no film available, maybe 70 or Turner, with a nice bit of footage. Tezza Gellin in his motor car. Who even knows? Excuse me. This one's quite good. They say it's still there. This is a Google sort of place. You've got this concentric circle, and then this thing, this Arabic -y thing inside. Trees all around, and there's a map of it back in antiquity. The Damascus Gate. Okay. And Basra Gate, Kufa Gate. Can't see that. And there it is in the painting. And you can apparently find it in the modern day. Apparently. I guess in Damascus. So, Meccano Magazine had these. Look at this. Carry from 300,000 passengers were carried. Yeah? Volks Electric Railway. Winter closed saloons for employees. And a five minute service throughout the year. And they had an electric train. 300,000 passengers, passengers ain't shy. And this one, check that train, goes in the air. So it's Volks Electric Railway shows supporting columns of the car's four-wheeled bogies running double decks. So this thing was high in the air and also electric. Electric. This is a nice shot. This is Ellis Island. Now, Ellis Island, as we, as we know, is uh, for refugees coming to America back in the past. Unfortunately, for the massive amount of Americans that populated your entire continent, this is a really not a lot of people around in any of the photographs of Alice Island at all. And all of them stay in this absolutely beautiful Italian red brick building. Three women, women from Guadeloupe at Ellis Island Immigration Station, 1911. And aren't they very well turned out from Guadeloupe, by the way? Huh? In their fineries, they got rings on jewelry. Yeah, fucking doing all right, now. When you're right, so ganja. Okay, okay, ganja. I got. I think I got a problem. Actually, I think I got a glandular problem, like gland glandular fever. So I think I got glandular. I don't. I haven't got glands. I got gan glandulars. Glandular fever. From 1852 to 1936, cannabis was used as a primary medicine for more than 100 separate illnesses. Or this eases in the US. So yeah, imagine this shit. Indica, they don't do sativa, but gelatine coated pills of cannabis extract don't give you the micro who two two grams of cannabis extract. A hundred tablets. Are they two gram a bit a piece? And from Cincinnati, the Merrill Corporation is doing a rather nice little cannabis indica powder extract. So, yeah, in antiquity, everyone was completely off their Brian's, apparently. Cops beat Chinese man after asking him for his name. I've lost all faith in our police, says fuck you. Or fuck you. Yeah, I don't blame you, mate. You can't trust them anymore. Nobody likes the police anymore. They're trying everything for a bit of, you know, hearts and minds. Um, this is apparently a submarine, but uh, I, I can't tell you if it's the American Civil War. But what I can tell you is things fucking round by the look of it. I'm not sure if it protrudes out this way, but it does look like a cup. It does look like a saucer. Strange uh, funnels as well. Strange everything with that ship, actually. Might be perspective, and it might not be conical shaped. So more of these cliff buildings. Somebody took a photograph of this because of all of these buildings in the side of this mesa same from the reset they come and well they bunkered in they knew it was coming and then this civilization was up and running what the fuck is that from there to there oh, the computer just went off so i'm gonna actually bring you up on uh, my phone guys because i can't actually see anything that's going on and keep an eye on chat and that is a beautiful little mud flutter though you have to be honest there you are. Yeah. Don't know what that is, but a nice little mud flood of windows right the way down there. So. Do, 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 do. I like that one. Let's have a look down here, see what we can discover. Ross Hatter. He's staying right at the camera. Not much going on. So we're looking at New York State, I think. Yeah, if we are. And um, this is a lighthouse. I think this is in Halifax again. Some of them in New York State. Some of them further north. And there's their aerials are on top of that hill. Oh, shit. What are we looking at? And here. For the era. Didn't have wireless. Didn't have uh, aerials. What the fuck's going on, guys? 
And they look like ship's masts, I know, but they're not flagpoles. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. It's just crazy. It's crazy lighthouse as well. It's really stumpy. So I'm sure we're looking. Yeah, this is Halifax. Oh, maybe St. John's. 1871. And it gets destroyed, the entire city. A lot of tech on the roofs. And a lot of nice architecture for that far north in Canada. Wow, look at it. It's all just duck boards and mud. Mud all over there, shacks. But they still got all that fine San Francisco-y looking architecture. Anglican looking churches. And I think that's um, St. John's City Hall, I think it was. And it's just mad for uh, Antiquitech. Look at this. What's this? Halyards for flags? Is that what it is? What about this? Domage. Just overkill, that is. And look at that building for all that way up north. Nothing's outside. All mud flooded. I think that place was a lot more populated. You know, Nova Scotia and uh, Newfoundland. It was originally thought. Another one of St. John's, I think it is. Is it St. John's? 20 past 3, I think it is. So just a mud road. But the houses are all deeply mud folded. Massive Italian buildings. Absolutely fantastic. But mud. Can't do a road. Uh, Ocean Wharf. Bringing in the cargo. So, yeah, in, uh, Halifax got exploded, as you may know, in the First World War. It's going over, I guess, in the upper level of the Brooklyn Bridge, which I've got suspicions about as well. I don't trust the narrative for... Oh, it's the East Bridge. It's the East Bridge, New York. Oh, right, it's a footbridge, isn't it? And they got a railway underneath. But i got suspicions about the Brooklyn Bridge myself. I don't know why. I just don't trust the narrative has been built. All the photographic record. So, Telegraph Cable Office, Anglo-American Telegraph, four cables, American Telegraph, two cables. And I've got all the wires coming off of these. So, apparently, you can talk to Britain from this building. Or Temple from the old world. Survived. And everything's mud flooded. Wow. So, I hope I uh, sort of made sense with the chronology. It makes sense to me. I'll, I'll talk about it some more and... Uh, I'll lay out some more proofs, but they're in the book of why I think this is the case, which I do because of the map and uh, some of the things like the fountain of Switzerland. And I don't think these uh, could be fake narratives for dating of countries. What's this? Diamonds and watches. This is the elevated ra railway that you get in New York City. Fantastic there, isn't it? Wow, imagine that coming past your window, just like the Blues Brothers. Ooh, Broadway, Broadway. Roll up another hundred years, you have Tom Hanks running down there, like in Vanilla Sky, <laughs> with no people. Because he's had a glitch. He's had a glitch in his, because uh, he's dead. And his memories were reactivated. His essence of his consciousness. We all went to shit. It definitely feels like a little bit like what's happening now, especially with the reset, and it's like happening in front of our very eyes. So this must be the most disproportionate top-heavy building in reality. All of the juice is up on top. And why is this gantry here? And why all of that up on top? All of these portals, all of that wrought iron work and all of these ornamental pieces. Because if you're walking down there, you're never going to see up there. It's the same in every city, you know, unless you look up and hurt your fucking neck doing it, you're not going to see anything because it's all high up, all the statues. So there you are, the Tower of Babel. Is it a tower, a PC tower? And are they, were they? Because it would have been the only way you could have survived. Rather than building a tower out into the, outside the dome, which seems like far-fetched, but building a supercomputer or a tower to combat the water program which is programmed god programmed it to kill us reset us and i'll get to the rest later so this is in the philippines apparently not too long ago somebody sent it to me the city's called Ar alina alina in the philippines and it got uh mud flooded real time and as you can see 
is about a real mud flood and the real time looks like exactly like the photographs we've all been looking at there's their church completely mud flooded in the philippines <clears throat> god i'm so thirsty i'm doing something i think there's another one there of the mud flooded church so it just goes to show that you know half buried windows in there that mud floods are real so there she is the tower of babel where they built in a supercomputer tower makes perfect sense to me understanding or overstanding water and then after this time when they survivors it's all of this kingery going on and power plays by evil men who write the literature and then everyone else just kills the fuck out of one another and it's always over like you know like the hundred years war you know the the lancasters and the yorks etc i know that was early but i'm just saying it's just like one blood group or one house against another house everyone murders everyone else it's just like that's what was going on and in the medieval period but post-apocalyptic went on vacation with my husband this is obviously from female perspective and this was the only photo he took when i asked him why he said it reminds me of soaking in the tub so what is knob don't float weird isn't it that's a stupid joke but that's one of yours sue cadwell you should be ashamed of yourself lady all his jokes you put on facebook absolutely disgusting i won't try mine anyway all new old london bridge was fantasticus okay obviously they say it burned down in the great fire of london uh the thing was fantastic What did it look like? It had all buildings on it, Greco-Romano buildings. And this is apparently the, I, I'm guessing the building of it, but that would have been way, way, way back. And there, well, there's what it looked like, apparently. This is an artist's depiction. So great stone arches on top of these like wooden pontoons and these great palaces all the way along. And you could drive your horse through. There was enough room for boats, not big ships, so there. And that was what it looked like before 1066. Looks like to be some aerials on there going on. Where they had these fantastic buildings across the bridge. I've seen some of the places like it in Italy, with bridges, with buildings on them. All gone, all no longer existing. It's fascinating, they put these giant stone buildings on top of a bridge. And look at the after it. That was on a bridge, guys. Look at it for its intricacy. Chimneys, it's a palace, it's got a massive gateway, it's just, just fantastic actually and i was on london bridge stone all burnt apparently still burnt there it is if you drive in you get your horse right the way through gateways for i guess in the bigger boats maybe and just giant giant buildings and all of that was gone apparently in a reset of 1066 which i don't think was the full reset like you know the, there was flood type reset but i do think it was definitely a changing paradigm changing powers and a reset no doubt power in. so look at this old building it's the pharmacy it's nice isn't it and it stood there all that time and never got burnt down is it a miracle so water spouts are funny aren't they they're shooting up all over the place they're like little twisters in the water so there's a few strange weather phenomena happening happening so use mary okay mary and black baby jesus yeah so um, some people have thought this she's covered in fleur de lis and jesus is blackage and so is mary so in some narratives that's the case i know that upsets some people tough radio the secret of life is it really that juicy should we really have some radium heaters is this the new free energy that we should all have for our heating for our homes and it's been held back from us i don't know so apparently okay this god is here the roman carving of the penis of wings and legs having the penis where the penis should be as well as the penis coming out of the butt the romans were laughing at dick butt over 2000 years ago on the internet i don't know that person is a bit childish but yeah they got um wings it's a big knob okay and it has a knob coming out of the knob monsters bun did i say that right okay i'll say it again 
the knob flying knob monster or the flying knob horse has a knob coming out of its knob body bone yes i think that's right i don't know they probably explained it better this proves i think that we got a domage if you do this with a cup you can see exactly the same displayed with send dogs and I think this is the magnetics as well, or the four angels captured light here of the four angels, the magnetic Tauruses. This is good. We accept cash, credit, debit, gold, uranium, goats, shrooms, and goats on shrooms. <laughs> I like that shop. I want that person, like, probably is really cool. By the sounds of it. So there's that baby being chucked from the fifth story window. Okay, now, hope they did catch her. I'd like to see how that ended. So, mud fudge reel. Um, this MIG, or this small Russian plane, is a couple of feet down. So, where did it do? What's it doing down there? I don't know. I'd all the mud get on top of it. I don't know. Did they have giant planes and jets like this in previous times? Probably. Is this Janus? This side? I'm a lady. This side, I'm an old man. So it's a bit confusing, but it just goes to show that there's, you know, two double facets, more facets to these uh, Phoenician personalities. Basically, she's got the brain of a dirty old man. So this is Baalbek, just to show you the insanity of the world of giants. That there is a human or a person of this realm. And this is part of the temple. Now, I think it's safe to presume that the occupants of said temple would have been giants. Definitely. Oh, this is a nice one. The old Adeline. They're selling absinthe in there. Yeah? You could go in there and you could have a cup of absinthe. Can't trip it. So he's putting some uh, posters up and you get this all beautiful. Fucking love this building. So atmospheric. She's a bit spooky, though. She's spooky in the ghost pictures I was doing. Wow. So many weird turrets and stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway. So... Flat of British, somebody made this meme, but I don't think it's actually correct, but it is called cool meme. Flat of British, the Phoenicians, Noah's flood was 1600s. No, I don't think it was 1600s. I think it was a lot earlier than that because of the Renaissance and the Enlightenment and the information that has come down since that period. It's all been skewed. This dedo has been ready to be jewels and his cup of favourite what? What? So there's a bug in there. There's some sort of like, I don't know, a locust and some earth. So is it a bug? Anybody? So he's holding this anyway. It's got a bit of a tech. It's got a zyro on top and the fleur de lis around it. Wow, what is in there? Ashes of a dead relative. Can't be much of it. Mm, very intriguing. That one. Fully Phoenician. So this is the shit we decoded. The alchemical knowledge, still a bit of a ways to go, but a lot of it making sense these days. Wow, the state of it. Yeah. Where the information's coming from in this case. Squirty, squirty. Yeah, no. Does he say Somatica there? Collection of Somatica. Somica. If I were reincarnated, I wish to be returned to Earth as a killer virus to lower human population levels. Prince Philip said that, and remember him saying it himself. Okay, you've seen that on telly. He says a lot of dirty shit about people. And look where we are now. I want to eat you. I eat my son. He's a ginger bastard. Yeah, yeah, he's not really. Yeah, he ain't happy. He's not the same man as he was out oh, there. He's pussy whipped by that bloke that he's with or whatever it is so he's been in for another endochrome transfusion there he is okay scorpius <laughs> or skeletor um he's been in hospital again it's a bit of a miracle apparently he's had a heart operation triple bypass let him out in a fortnight but fuck me that's not the same guy you see in other pictures that is one highly fat person so, yeah, he's been to hospital again, apparently, guys. 32 years trying to figure out how he's been alive five different decades. So he's 100 years old, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he keeps going to hospital every so often. The nurses that greet him have Masonic 
uh, uniforms on, by the way. And just in case you forgot, just to remind you, because people keep forgetting, right? As of March 19th, yeah, a year ago, 2020, COVID-19 is no longer considered to be high-consequence infectious disease. Now, guys, they didn't go back on this, you know. It was just completely ignored by everyone in fucking reality except for the people in the know. A year ago, guys. It's all been bullshit for a fucking year, keeping us in and all that. So this is um, Detroit Waterworks, all right? So it's got beautiful waterworks. Okay, I get the towers, but what about this tower, guys? And we've seen these in different cities in America. Is that a water tower? What kind of water tower is it? It's fucking crazy. I know. So there's Marilyn Monroe. No, I'm not going to use it. I don't think this is a money thing going on here. I mean, the science is not settled. It's funded, as I mentioned earlier. And science is bullshit because they just, it's, look, they go to a university because it's uni, it's one. They're all singing off the same song sheet and they won't go any forward. Fuck face. A person with a face that instantly pisses off the moment, instantly pisses you off the moment you see it and you have to fight the incredible urge to smash him or her in the mouth. Yeah, you must overcome these urges for violence or, or calling people fuck face as well. It's not good because it's come back, sorry. Especially they're bigger than you wrong. <laughs> so this is coming up, guys, soon in May. Um, just been getting some of the forwards. Got Campbell there, and he's in chat. He's writing me a forward. Last time I had like UAP, uh, John Dev, and Mel, and others. Uh, Lee, Lee. Uh, so I've asked Lee, I've asked Mel, I've asked um, brother. I don't know if you're there, Chris, in chat, and Lee as well. So write me a forward from the book. Um, this is um, basically gonna. I can't believe it's gonna be out there, but it is, and it's spilling the beans on all of it, really, guys. The reset, everything that I just told you about now, and more, um, is in this book. Um, everything, everything that we talk about in Flat Earth British, our biggest, biggest mind splats, are all in this book, going to be out in May, and I'm fucking just absolutely chuffed to beans the way the book's turns out, and um, I couldn't, you know, couldn't ask for better, basically. Yeah, so not long to go. Just made a few adaptations because things have changed. So if you don't know, Matt Leaker, there I am. This is my channel, Flat Earth British. And we got that fucked over last week, but we go on. And I've got other channels, in case you don't know. Celtic Tatarian channel, that's on a copyright strike for bullshit. And Flat Earth British Think Tank channel, that's on copyright for bullshit. This channel has only got three videos on it. I was going to use it for an emergency channel. Uh, for basically, uh, in case anything happens to this and I need to do an emergency broadcast. But I won't worry about it. Um, somebody asked me, are we going to Odyssey? No, I'm not going to D-Live, Odyssey or any of these things. And D-Live just lost all its shit. Everyone will be bouncing from that anytime soon. Okay. Um, no, I've got something else worked out. So there we are. Mind-blowing mud flood, flat earth Britishness. This is a broken link as far as I know. Okay. And, uh Shit, just got, sorry about that. Just to show you, it's a broken link. Um, but there is a photo drop link. Um, see, I got told not to share these links because basically um, they can, anybody can just put any old shit on there. You know, a troll or a nutter or anything. So I thought, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. So if you don't know, um, the decoding through antiquity of the electromagnetic structure of this realm, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that this Earth can be nothing other than the double torus and flat as pancake. Okay, and that came out last December, and I booked two coming shortly. So if you haven't uh, read that, I suggest you do, because it's a fucking massive mind splat. Uh, you won't hear much about it in the truthers realm, because basically they keep it quiet. And you can support me on PayPal here, which would be really grateful. I tried to do a Barbaria fundraising thing, but that just never fucking happened. I got like 1% or 1.1% of the way there. <laughs> I'm super grateful for everyone who did um, contribute, contribute a little bit, though. But if you want to leave a tip, because you didn't go out piss tonight, leave it me. I'd be really grateful. Instagram, I'm on there. Uh, did a post on there yesterday. went live. So get onto Instagram, guys. I do live stuff on there and Facebook quite regularly, in between doing Flat Earth British, because I'm running out of channels. My flavor Tatalia, Firmament, Bashay's Comets. So... I don't know if you're there in chat, my brother Israel Adams. Are you there, Israel Adams? 
Have you heard Victor lately, Boogerman? Yeah, he's on my Facebook, uh, Sid. I think he's all right, mate. I do check on people. I was worried about Ace McLeod because I haven't heard from Ace in time. If anyone heard from Ace McLeod, let me know, guys, okay? Because uh, get me worried about that boy. I don't know what he's, what he's doing or what's going on. So, um, Fashes. He asked me to recap on Fashes. If you don't know, okay, um, on my channel, Front of British... It's on this channel as well, but on this channel, uh, Celtic Italian, and on here, and on here, you can find the greatest secret never told, okay, which I was going to show you a bit of on my, oh, excuse me, my live event the other day, um, which will explain about the fashion, the most important bit of technology, good side and bad side to it, but it's a resetter. It's um, a weapon, it's a vibrational technology, it's shown everywhere in reality okay that's a poor example okay bundle of sticks charged zap and that's what it's all about there you are there's there's uh washington with his fashies which looks like a gatling gun so it's all about the fashies okay guys it is in the iching and on both sides of Lincoln's chair showing that they're very significant. So I'll brush up and I'll give you a little rundown. If you don't know, it's the most mind blowing thing you can ever imagine. Okay, guys, it really, really is. But it's been three years since I covered it and I got like, I don't know, a lot more fucking subscribers these days. And you know, all my originals I've lost and uh, all new people have arrived, which I'm grateful for. Hi, Dabbing Good. I was just asking about uh, him myself. Were you? Uh, Bob said he will. Uh, be at the Solar Return Festival, so I guess all good. Oh, thank you for that. Okay. You know, if I, uh, with my uh, brothers and sisters in uh, Flat Earth and the Truthers, if I don't hear from it for a while, I, I go looking. I find out if they're all right, because if, you know, anything could have happened and nobody would bother. So um, Ace rung mine the other night. Um, I just thought, where's fucking Ace? I haven't seen him in months. So, yeah, the Solar Gathering gutted. I've had offers for um, somebody to support me with a tour. But unfortunately, they wanted me to give them the bank, my bank account details to them. And I didn't like or feel secure doing that because <laughs> uh, they weren't happy with PayPal. But the guy in London said he was going to pay for, fund a flat of British tour. Well, I want to need a little bit more than that. I haven't got time on my hands, so I need somebody. It's like, somebody want to make a few fucking grand a night? Fucking find a venue, each British city. All I do is turn up, do a presentation, charge tickets. It doesn't have to fucking cost you. It's only cheap, 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 like, you know. Um, and I could do this and fill a hall in every British city, do a flat British tour. And we could have speakers, like uh, maybe Paul Cook, maybe Black Sheet Research, British truthers speaking, like they do in America land, like when they were doing with the Flat Earth, but on our terms and our subjects. Do you like the sound of that? I can't organize everything, guys. I'm doing like fucking barrier, book, an alternative fucking format for everyone to jump to. And uh, sounds epic, or so good, good, good. Thank you, my brother. So, don't know. You can find out about all Flat Earth British things on flatearthbritishinfo.com. Oh, it's my website there, martinlika7 at gmail.com for, excuse me, uh, any help or information on these subjects. I know some of it can be a bit damaging on the old Brian, but let me tell you guys, it releases you of all, all everything after you know this 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 information seems superficial and just bullshit. You can't listen to it. You won't be able to listen to it. You'll be just so enriched um, by your life experience and thinking about spreading the truth, thinking about improving yourself. You know, I've had a weird week. It's gone like click. Been working hard, like I said, been doing some a lot of work actually this week, but working with Lee on this presentation and information, etc. Um, but I reckon uh, this week has been really good for um, personal self growth as well. I think I've done so. I think I've come on a ways. I think um, come to terms with certain things in life and you know, and come to some uh, crossroads if you like personally and just sorted it. I fucking think I've done really well. You know, what that matter. <laughs> Psycho Dave. Can't explain like guys, but life's weird and hard, isn't it? So Michelle, good to see you. Hippie Shake, love trees. Her, her husband's happy. He's Welsh and the rugby's back on. So good old Ian. Is that your husband's name? Tree uh 
She's a <laughs> yeah, it is, I think. <laughs> so I know so much about my friends. It's so good. Adam Platt's good to see you. Uh ten verdict, ten directions, eight cardinals plus yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. Peter, the most important truth is Enoch and Square Earth. Check a look behind me, Peter. Uh, Orlando's square and stationary earth, and I'm fucking definitely an Enochian. I love that shit, me. Sorry, there. So, it is quarter past or quarter past midnight. I guess I've been going three hours. It's Kai. See you, you good folks. Take care. Nosta, Andrew73, sure. Good vibes. But me last weekend was a mentalist, wasn't it? it what was I like on a Brian for 12 hours of just though? Just my mental. After it, I was like, this is <laughs> fun as fuck. I'll do that again. Enjoy that. Love. Phrased eyebrow. Tyler's your Tyler Porter. Thank you. No worries. My pleasure, actually. I love to do it. Michael De Silva. Although, well, I don't let it stress me. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, ex helocentric. Good to see you, my brother. You was asking about Ace, which is probably to think about Ace. It was you. It was you, I see in somebody's chat somewhere so thank you that um you're the shit uh marty martin uh, you're the shit too dick <laughs> hey williams so annie kurt didn't sound too right that did it but it was nice it's not the best possible taste experimental elemental glastonbury that our festival's gonna come back glastonbury i'm not too sure about tommy's there good to see you Sally Scott, I hello Sally Scott, and Arctic Voidage. Any ideas for the world? Me thinks a moon-based star. No, that's just fucking stupid. I, you can't improve the moon's physical objects. Moon base. Oh, dear, dear, dear. It's a plasma effect. It's covered in discharge fucking points from plasma discharges. Uh, Thunder Groove from Froome, Somerset. Yeah, I was there not too long ago, back in... Um, well, basically, I went through Froome and your part of the world. Um, that Christmas. Um, I tell people about the North Star and they think I'm crazy. And it's always at the centre, it's just my opinion. Yeah, do you know what? Let me tell you something about red pilling some people, uh, Sid. Don't start with the sky. Don't start with the sky, okay? It doesn't matter. Whatever the fuck's up there, it doesn't matter to what's happening down here on the realm in the physical experience. It doesn't. So I never use the sky because it always gets discombobulates people and leaves you all confounded. So it's best not to deal with the sky. If anyone says to me, like, oh, well, a planet's around and all of the, are they? And um, all of the bodies in space are round. Oh, and so we must be round and standing on a circle. So I always say the same thing. So the balls on a pool table are all, all round does that mean that the table is also round I'm like, oh yeah i see what you mean not really it's like yeah no shit so you know the arguments just fall apart every fucking time glass show uh, i agree with jason and give me shake again we go back up dave my brother psycho oh, i said that jay at matters so thank you everyone on both facebook still got a thousand people watching holy fuck Please make sure to share this out. Please like this video. Help get this truth out there. In my in my Brian, guys, I'm thinking there's a thousand of you watching now. One one one. Just went to one one eight. I'll tell you now that I think that if everyone in the world knew about the information that came on the flat of British, the whole of humanity would be cured. It would all be over. Every war, every pain, every misery. No more suffering for anyone ever again. If all of the information was to be public of what comes out on flight of British guys. Hmm? That's what I think. The keys for the new start, keys for better life. It's just it's all here. It's all encompassed in this whole beautiful experience it's flight of British. Joy's there, Thunder Groove, I said that Lance is there, Aaron's there, Art McCartney, New York in the flat house. And Joe's here as well. And and the rabbit is tickling my foot. Yeah. It wants attention. I have to go feed it now in a minute. I've been working all day doing this. And Jenny Randall's my brother. Alvides, good to see you, my friend. Listening to you since summer 2018. <laughs> yeah, you have, haven't you? I've been out a long time. I know. 
you true veteran god i've been through some stuff jesus i try try and think about it all that's just done so much good stuff thank you Gillian. i'm glad you approve so I, I guess i should recap then i usually fucking do so blue sky thank you for, for joining us so yeah since we're all dead reanimated in this water solution makes sense ghosts in the shell they do tell us that and the knowledge of knowing thyself is to sell in the distance basically we're being minded and that makes perfectly sense because everything is mind in this matrix isn't it yeah close your eyes oh it's all gone isn't it okay um the room that you're looking at now is being interpreted in pictures in your mind so where is the world that's right is it external is there anything out there other than your ex internal perception no, it's not it's all you guys which proves beyond a shadow of about doubt that this place is a matrix of some sort a hologram a a simulation if you like because it can be interacted with it can be shaped malleable as fuck once you know because i tell you something guys the elites definitely fucking know they know about the water they know all of it thank you esther trees of love Otto Campbell, rest well, my brother. I'll speak to you soon. Jason is here as well. And HJ, come to Australia. I cannot gonna fly, am I, mate? They're gonna be wanting uh, vaccines and that. I go off to go to abroad somewhere every single week. Every single week. Yeah, even this week's Portugal. Can't do it. Can't go anywhere just yet. Aaron Hereford, good to see you. DCAT, who's brainy as fuck. Thanks, DCAT, for your support and everything you do in comments. It's brilliant stuff always always my mind melding uh truth and information john trotter good to see you my friend um so uh that's excuse martin they will point to that and they will say we hold you it's been downgraded to 2020 oh yeah bullshit i know all of that which they just went through people it's fucking stupid to know does my head in and they haven't stopped with it even though they're like the pandemic you know they're saying that nobody's died and you know in days and it's gone it's going in wales and the lockdown's being lifted and that it's bullshit false sense of security that leads them into and i come over to them like a fucking wolf next time i'm telling you now they know taxes boom all of it your lot are gonna pay anything that goes wrong you lot are fucking liable that's what they're gonna do next okay they're making a killing off this it's just a fucking scam it's all a fucking scam <laughs> but there is a supernatural aspect 664 likes says Alroy browns do appreciate that a lot and there's been a big crowd in here tonight thousand all the way up to almost 1200 people i don't know many are on facebook as well but i'm guessing a few on there as well so massive crowd tonight massive appreciation okay and um tower of babel i think it's computer i think it's us i think it's us that does it and i've said this all along i said it on uh on a previous blog i think you know chosen ones if you like okay the originals why we are sort of magnet magnetically or connected together and found one another weirdly yeah i'm yeah, just saying anyway i gotta go 667 thanks for passing that a terrible moment there brian tucker i wouldn't have liked that very much yeah 666 matthew good to see you matthew davis my brother visited me in fact of british hq this week he's my brother from up in Aberdeer, wales he was a very epic brother. Thank you. Much love to you, Matthew. And it was also amazing to see you, Donia, in Cardiff land. Uh, get a boat. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, Dave, I need money for boats. Each, but I would love to live on a boat. Don't pay tax on a boat, on the water. Uh, men wearing diapers, drinking tang on moon rides 50 years ago. It's fucking terrible, isn't it? Flat club. Oh, I love my flat earth brothers and sisters. I've never seen other flat earthers. I'm like, yeah, it's flat, isn't it? He's flat earther or not. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> I went up my mate's cookies. Oh shit, did I say that loud? I went up my mate's earlier. Anyway, that's not his name, isn't it? So sorry. And um I live in a reasonably rough neighborhood. The, the other side is a lot worse, okay? And uh, there was a car full of like hoodies, four boys in a car, and he just went like he's got like a massive engine. And he shouted out the window. Um I'll say exactly what he said. Yeah, but it ain't a fucking ball though. I went, yeah, it is fucking flat, mate. No, it fucking ain't. Yes, it fucking is. So we um, went back and forth like that, but it was all in good humour. So yeah, the hoodies, like, I don't know, I don't know who they were, but they knew me off flat of British. And he's like, yeah, but it's not a ball, though. 
Uh, it's not flat though. So like, yeah, yeah, it is flat. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Happens quite often. Now you'd be surprised on much. Be careful out there, John. Oh fucking hell. You haven't got a clue, uh, John. Okay, they won't bother me. Lisa Newman. Me too crazy. We love you a long time. Fifteen hour. Gotta take a shower. Lisa, did I just say that? I did. Spread the truth. In fact, I was thinking about. I'm a legend, am I? Oh, maybe that's true. Okay, I'm thinking about love. Is love evil? I mentioned this before on my last vlog, but I was thinking about. Um, actually, somebody said in my in my emails, Kim, about the word hormones. Hormones. Hormones is actually hormones, isn't it? Like the hormones. So, is that what's going on? Is there just like a hormonal reaction where we're just thinking about basically sex? And then when, eventually, when we've gone through all of the motions and there's nothing much left at the end because you didn't have much else in common by that hormonal connection, and then it's all over and then it's on with the next and this is apparently life. That's not love, is it? It's not, is it? It's just it's a hormonal attraction. Is it when we do that, do we miss out on a greater love? I'm just wondering. It's a really good question. It was asked to me and posed to me in um, in my emails. It got me thinking. You know, it's just it's a hormonal thing a lot of the time. And true love, true love. Well, that's another realm altogether, isn't it? That's the sort of thing we like fucking fight wars for, or kill some people. You know, it's just, just that's completely different. But most people, I was thinking, like, how many couples are just like, oh yeah, they had that in the beginning, and then you know. 30 years later, they're still stuck together because of the kids or because. Whoa, what a waste of fucking life. <laughs> may think they may love them and they may do to some respect in a family sort of way. But is it really love? I don't know. It's a bit of a tricky subject, isn't it? I need some, need some closer scrutiny, I think. <laughs> At least that, that subject needs some closer examination, I reckon. Hormonals. Oh, what, what was that? What was that? Sorry. Um, I'd like to hear a lady's um, opinion on the subject. Uh, hormones are not love. No, they're not. They're not love, are they? They're lust. They are just lust, basically. And I think that's a lot of it all of the, a lot of the time. Truth, love is child support. Uh, step because of finances. A lot of them. Yeah, that's true. Mortgage, etc. Um, and it is all about intention. I think that's. I think we'll end it on that because it is. Set your intent clear, guys, for a better day for everybody. And that's what it's going to be. Don't even doubt. What is there to doubt? Anyway, after what I just told you, there shouldn't be any doubts anyway because there's nothing to fear, is there? And being there's nothing really out there in the exterior world except for your mind, then I think you should be really careful of your thoughts. Train them. And I'll leave it at that. Good little, good little vlog. I enjoyed that tonight. So flat firms. I gotta go and eat something because I'm Hank Marvin. I'm fucking Hank Marvin. His wife's not very happy about it, but I am hungry. Michael De Silva <laughs> and Rebecca. Thirty-eight years of anniversary today. Okay, I was with my wife for thirty years, or just short, or twenty-eight years from the nineteen eighty. We went through three decades together. My son's thirty years old, but she died. She died. Um, I did love her um, in a weird sort of way. But that started out like on the old less thing. That was just all that was in the beginning. And then uh, basically she got caught. And then it was like, you know, parentage. I'm not the type of bloke to fuck off and leave a kid in a million years. So I suffered anything, me. And I did. Uh, kidnapping is tyranny. It's illegal, but somehow illegal when you're hire a lawyer. God, lawyers. All of it. The whole fucking thing is shit. Love takes effort. That's the one, Sam. Good, good, good words. I like this, like this. Takes effort. And we live in a throwaway culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. It takes effort. And because um, it can be feigned as well. I, you know, people, I know as people could be acting as well. You know, acting love. I mean, you know, pretending they love and stuff. You know, that, that's the thing as well, isn't it? And then later on, it just, you know, I think you've got to know somebody for like probably six months or something to work out whether they're a fucking psycho or a bunny boiler or vice versa or what. I think that's a good period to find out whether the cracks are going to show, whether you're with a raving fucking nutcase or not, is what my experience, I think, is. 
you know someone for a couple of years and you stay awesome friends a few years that's a good thing stick with that dogs know what love is well my rabbit see i know it sounds stupid my rabbit loves me my rabbit loves me she crutches into me and she's just really she, she's just got a love for my thing my rabbit. But i love my little rabbit too i do but that's a different love it again isn't it it's like a little, little rabbit but it's like a koala bear and i want to squeeze it but i don't want to squeeze it in case it squeezes it too much and kills it that would be shit killing my rabbit how'd you kill your rabbit i loved it to death mm. deep parasite with turpentine okay i'll go with that one spoonful daily uh we cast spells with our words without um knowing our true words well okay jay going on that uh suggested to me this week actually by lee that why don't we attempt to leave our vowels out of our words or at the end of a word at the end of a word so if there's a vowel at the end of the word skip it leave it off and write with that so we might try that i might dispel the you know definitely the vowels put in there is giving this sharp uh invocational voodoo tone to all of their weird voodoo spells so yeah maybe you take the vowels out to the end maybe that'll help with a few of it but what can we do we're speaking it yeah we need to like limit our thoughts and stuff. I try clearing my mind completely before, um, before all oh, the, what's that about verbs? Love is a verb, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I try to clear my mind completely. I was gonna ask you guys to do it too, because I tell you what, there's a lot of chatter. And I was trying to stop the chatter to be able to clear my mind, to be able to speak to you guys. So I tried that exercise, I was like, just don't think anything. And then I managed it, it was good. Uh, D, oh, what's that again? Excuse me, I did like that. Uh, throw away will because it's temporary it is that's why they only build in corrugated iron and breeze blocks so you know like i mentioned earlier guy, earlier guys love is a two-way street indeed it is um as as i meant oh, i can't fucking think my brain's just gone uh temporary um if you're gonna have a reset make sure you don't leave the evidence for um, the previous civilization there because um it's you get busted yeah we're gonna work that shit out that's why the next time corrugated iron all of it is subject to entropy glass all of it gone there will be nothing left of this disposable civilization 100 years it should be gone very very little of it left the classical world will be there though still funnily enough none of this new shit will be around shopping centers walmart's mcdonald's these are little shit brick buildings wash away in a fucking moment squirrel love you too my brother nathan dick and i we and pam and kind of dummy peace to all anyway i gotta go Flat firms, thanks for saturday i'll be back very soon i'll try and get a post in in a week it's just been crazy this week i'm out of time guys okay and ellie rose ella's rose i love heavy metal too fun to groove i love to my bit of heavy i've been listening to all sorts i was listening to old talking heads old talking heads in fact a fantastic band aaron hereford when they were a bit punky back in the day uh lisa newman and platz and who's gonna have the last show so amarali b he died just before covid yeah um heavy that heavyweight boxer died as well didn't he um uh because of hey I was thinking Larry Hagler. Oh, it is Larry Hagler. Yeah, he's died. Somebody said in my comments that um, I am Mike. Mike Tyson has been talking about Phoenicians and stuff, Phoenicians and Tataria on his podcasts. So somebody suggested to me, I reckon I am Mike's watching you, Matt. Yeah, because he was talking about aspects of my work. So I was like, fuck me. Imagine having I am Mike on board, guys. We are Mike Tyson. Yeah. He, he fucking bites lion's ears, guys. Tiger's ears. Yeah, we want Mike. Mike Tyson, if you do watch this, I fucking love you. Yeah, will you be in our gang, please? Will you be like my my like bouncer or something? Like my minder. Yeah, I don't want, you won't have wages. Just just fucking just the benefit of hanging around with five of British would be wicked. Two of us together, we'll kill it. Yeah? Yeah. Me and Mike Tyson, we fucking kill it. Yeah, we'd be like that. Tell me I'm not tell me it's not true. Yeah, no. Anyway. <laughs> stop making sense brilliant stop making sense brilliant yeah 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 anyway informational flammation i was going to look at uh, camille Fla flammarion in this blog but i didn't because there was not enough time so much love to you all guys have an epic week whatever you're doing keep your vibration up get out get grounded 
enjoy the sunshine if it is spring is sure and let's make a difference okay i've said this since the very beginning this spring let's make a difference get something moving let's get a tour or something going and i will try and get a, a meet get you all together um somewhere maybe in my city you know come visit me a couple of hundred of you i work it up anyway karen lewis thank you have a great night martin or oh, my night's done for no i won't get to sleep at all it's half past 12. <gasps> more challenge that's um if you work out that you know the way the realm works magellan's is nothing more than a placebo in my eyes in fact all Ill illnesses and all diseases placebo that's how they use it that's how they got everyone ill just believe in it say it enough it comes true that's how this realm works guys and brainwashing works as well right anyway, mike tyson oh, i love mike tyson to make friends with the community imagine having tyson in a vlog ah oh, fucking wicked love that guy i smoke spliff Sonia, love you, Sonia, Kathleen, and Lisa, and Karen again, Blue Sky Fangs, Tommy Poultry, and yeah, everyone wishing I and Mike could join Flat Earth British Think Tank. We could do with you, I and Mike. Yeah, Mike Tyson, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. No one better, is there? Bite your fucking ear off if you're chopsy. Okay. Anyway, Rebecca. Uh, yeah, he killed uh t he bit off Tim uh yeah Tim Witherspoon, didn't he? Or was it with a knife? No, it was with a spoon. So. <laughs> oh never mind. It's a witherspoon's boxes joke. Anyway, I gotta go. Platforms, be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Love you all.